Hello. Welcome to our another Descent into Avernus game. Episode three. Episode three? Session three? Session three. Session three. It's, session it's, three. it's chiller. It's chiller, session three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All doing? I know is that we're about to get our asses handed to us because we yeah. thought, ah, well, we'll just go and I'm investigate something done. quickly. That was a good pun, Sean. What? Good pun. Our asses handed, handed, to handed to us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? Because they're gauntlets that are alive or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that was that, that was it. I meant that. That was the, That's how funny <laughs> I am. You do, you obviously, you meant it. Do. It was obvious. You've got to do your wind up axe move. That's the one. That oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Yeah, I will. So yeah, all I remember is that we're basically about to be uh, annihilated because at the end of the last session we thought, hey, this is going to be great. We'll just end by chatting to this guy. It'd be fine. And then we triggered something. Something. Yeah, sending some floating hands. How How's everyone been? I'm all chilling? All ready all right. for this? I've been hankering to roll some dice. Sean and I have been visiting, I was not say frequenting, but that makes it sound sexual. We've been visiting a uh, board game cafe. Yeah, frequenting and... does sound wrong. Yeah, we've been does, fucking, fucking. You can just use yeah, fucking, fucking, fucking in a board game cafe. Fucking in a board game cafe. Um, and so I've been excited. You know, many other forms of dice, but no d twenties. So I've been excited, even though we roll physically, we roll uh, digitally anyway. But still, and then you played Mysterium, yeah. didn't you? Again, I did play Mysterium, and it was it was very very good. So thanks Great for, game, it? for that. Yeah, yeah. We just hacked it for like two players. You can, there is a proper way to do it with two players, but I couldn't be asked. So I was just yeah. like. You know, so we just hacked it, but it was good fun. Yeah, played a bit of Fiasco as well. That's something to mm -hmm. maybe try to again. Get it on Roll Twenty. Yeah, it's a nice hybrid. If anyone out there doesn't play D and D very much, but is still interested in what we do, Fiasco is like a nice hybrid between board game and D and D, and it has like prompts and stuff, doesn't it? Mm. So it promotes a little bit of uh, yeah. story it's, it's, You know, yeah, sort of it's like game. a it's like a situation problem solving game. Yeah, 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 exactly. Situation comedy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. It always ends up as a comedy. Yeah. 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 Anything we do ends up as a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have the best intentions, don't we? We try naturally so hard and they're in well. Yeah, that's it, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. We're naturally funny. Naturally funny people. Yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. what happens. Situations course, yeah, turn yeah. to comedy. That makes and sense. we only cry in, in our rooms alone when no one else can see us. So it's yeah, yeah, in real life, we're quite yeah. sad people and depressed. <laughs> but on <laughs> stream, for you, people that. for our audience, we have to keep the fucking we are... heat up. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, oh, right. speaking of uh, crying, <laughs> give us a recap, Brad. Okay, so you were told at the end of the first session to investigate rumors of a secret dungeon hidden below the bathhouse in the north side of town. After investigating these rumors, well, before investigating these rumors, I should say, you stopped off at a shop and had a little bit of a bartering session, buying a few potions and putting a down payment on a rather nice bow, <laughs> before then moving on. And in, whilst distracting the misuses by getting a massage... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You, My character's such a slob. <laughs> you then find secret entrance after a nifty bit of intimidation and persuasion bringing the answer out of the other masseuse you delve down into the sewers what it looks what looks like to be the sewers that are disused and abandoned and have now been taken over by the cultists you work your way through the sewers you find a couple of dead bodies a couple of altars some not dark and nefarious thing before then discovering a man chained up with a woman and a woman and a man stood over him. Excuse me. You slaughter said people, go to rescue the man, and are attacked by two floating gauntlets that rise up from an inanimate suit of armor just as you go to unchain the man. And so we roll for initiative. Uh, battle. I'm not doing so hot as well, by the way, health-wise. I don't know about you guys. Um, That's okay. I can help that. I got a seven. It was a 15 and then hit the corner, rolled over. Something like that. 
16 for me. I wanted to send the result of the roll to the turn tracker, but no valid token was selected. <laughs> no! 16. 16. Brad's all over that. Seven. So we, we, try, we tried to sort of assess, didn't we, whether that guy was fight worthy, but it doesn't seem like he is. So we can't really include him. Had, Fine. had one of our friends been around, they might have been fight worthy. Yes. Damn you, Joffrey! <laughs> Joffrey! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, that's kind of exciting. So is that is that what is that supposed to be Joffrey's character? Is it that's no? Sort of, no. I just oh, oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. But it could quite easily seems... have been. Yeah. I'm, yes. I'm right, unbelievably right. convenient. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, music, music, music. We, I mean, as is like, as was with uh, Arian well prior to this, when Joffrey makes an entrance, he'll he'll damn well he'll make, make an entrance. entrance. So <laughs> we're looking forward to that whenever that is. Gene. Oh, here's the music. It is you to go first. Oh. It, as said, you you had just. I'm gonna have to move you there because at the end of last session, you were the one who was reaching up to untie the yes. gentleman. It's yes. Our... Jean, Jean, I don't think those hands are supposed to be moving. <laughs> oh yeah, accents, Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was like, don't, Jesus. I was now. Don't yeah. worry, kid. Uh, I'll do the old uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on it. <laughs> full clockwork. <laughs> oh, yeah, full clockwork. One to twelve. Um, uh, I guess. So, what do I see if, like, when I spin around? You spin to... around and. Clink, clink, two solid steel gauntlets just rise up and they don't look like they're a pair they move off almost independently towards okay. the two closest people to them all right i have almost nothing i can do now <laughs> nothing i can hit it so, <laughs> so i'm hitting it i'm getting it with this plus one morning star that uh ryan you gave me as an artificer yes. Ooh, that's 15 to hit a 17 Oh, no, 15 misses. Well, you know the AC now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so, I was so certain that I rolled my damage as well. I was so certain oh, I was going to hit mate. it. 17. 17 to hit. Oh, hit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, yeah. never fails. Small, um, small floating things. Mm, very difficult. Shit, yeah, okay. Um, I can only do my horns if I hit with something, so I can't seem... I can't, you can I do your two weapon moment. fighting. Ah, yes, of course, yes. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't push them. No, you're right, so it counts as a horn attack. So with my two weapon fighting, I shall do... Oh, it's nine to hit, so... That also misses. As this not hit, I... fist weaves under the, the, the maul strike... <laughs> And you yeah, go to my up the gauntlet, and it just sort of moves back. <laughs> oh no! I got this, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> he says. Now it's too much sixsmith in there if he's cocky, even if he's failing, right? I like Gene. The Gene is just like this hard-worn, like he, he can take the hits, right? Yeah. 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 He can't give them out yet. You still haven't read the Harry Dresden them. books, have you? I haven't. I, that's I want, that's, that's on my list Harry to read Dresden. as well. He like, but he wins by just being the only person that can like he, he out stamina's everyone else. He, yeah, every yeah, book, yeah. He gets the crap beaten out of him. Yeah, it's I great. like it. There is a kind of Philip Marlowe vibe about just getting seven shades knocked out of you and still standing. Yeah, so I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm all right with this. The outcome. I mean, we might die, but at least it's in character. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's that's my turn. Over. Okay, Amanda, it is your turn. I'll have to try and shoot the one on Jean, I guess. Let's give it a go. Oh, uh, this is harder, so I squint down down the eye. Ooh. Nineteen. Oh, nice, lovely hit. Nice. So that will do. Eight points of damage. <laughs> Pretty Sails low. through the air, and it, the bolt, as it is, cuts off three fingers before the gauntlet manages to move out of the way. Nice. Dealing a nice well, chunk of damage. I'll um, I'll do that to mine. I'll go. Pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. And then Blow as out. I'm doing that, I'll reload and shoot again with my bonus action. Nice. Uh, why won't you let me? Why won't you let me roll? Oh, I missed because I've been too cocky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
in typical Amanda style, and I will obviously move my way away from the uh, people. Okay. Uh, and that's me. Cool. That is now the flying gauntlet's turn. Which one is it? This one. So it's going to attack you, Gene. Eugene? Who's that? Eugene. Yes. <laughs> That's my Eugene. way of getting out of shit. Yeah. Uh, okay, with only a five to hit, the gauntlet sails through the air. Because he's missing three fingers. Yeah. Just yes, uneven. Yeah. Uneven. And he manages to duck, he manages oh, to duck just out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I do like a sort of three stooges with it, yeah. And it tries to get me, boy, and it can't. <laughs> <laughs> No, they're the fingers that are missing, so it just goes... Yeah, of course! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and that ends its go. Uh, putting it at the other gauntlet's go, which is going to rush forward and attack Misty. Or A. No. Seven to hit, as this Whoa. one also misses oh, sailing past well you. Almost revving up with a massive bit of weight to it it just speeds straight past misty okay okay it's fellas seen Jean, that's lay down the hurt, isn't it? okay i okay. think i should probably get some cockney slang in shouldn't i i'm gonna have to start yeah yeah slang. make up yeah some made up yeah. cockney slang some made yeah. up cockney slang yeah. <laughs> and what would getting the hurt in be it would be like the i don't know the only get, get the only and burt in yeah, Lay down the Ernie and Burt. Lay, Lay down, down the Ernie on him. Lay down the Ernie on him. That's it. it. That's it. Fit, fit some D&D &D monsters in there as puns. Yeah. Right. Yes. That's, that's, my, yeah. that's my ongoing game now. If anyone yeah. wants to put any in the chat, feel homework. free to. Feel free to put some suggestions yes. in the chat yeah. of D&D &D slang. D&D &D cockney rhyming slang. <laughs> Misty, it is now right. your turn. What can I do? I feel like I should probably attack this one... Well, I can't run away from it. I could disengage from it, right? Or is disengage a, an action or a move? No, it's as you're as you're not a rogue. It is a full action to disengage. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Pathfinder. Okay. It's a bonus action, a movement action. Uh, I'm gonna have to just try and Gene on a level of, uh... or oh, let's say like one to twenty-two. Yeah. yeah how. <laughs> You know how much. What's my are you? doing? Oh, I don't know. Maybe eight or something. I don't know. Just. Oh, okay. Eight. You're fine then. Um, I'm gonna have to just in the bag, and I'm gonna the one that Gene's fighting. I'm gonna try and um throw another fireball at it. Yeah, I have a feeling these guys are fast, but they probably don't have a lot of HP and a lot of um nah, I damage. Nah, an eleven. Hit the wall behind it. Yeah. <laughs> um, sails through. Mm. As it skims some of the water and steam rises off behind you behind it ah uh, well um just gauntlet if you're going to do anything punch me don't pull my ears <laughs> and uh, i can't really move so i'll stay where i am back me into a corner that'd be my go okie dokie jane it is now your go again okay the wheel ever turns, does it? Yes, the uh, the old uh, it's got to have a name, isn't it? The old hands, the old hands of the clock, or whatever. Well, <laughs> it's a ten. That's a ten to hit. Yeah, unfortunately, the hands of the clock do not strike twelve, and they miss. Aha! But the horns, but however, the faint. The yes. faint it thinks, and then when I get to six o'clock, bong, and I go straight in with the <laughs> with the horn. I'm G sure G there's a joke to be made. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, no, because it's, 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 it's six o'clock. Six o'clock. <laughs> it's starting from below. It's twelve. Right, okay. It's upside down. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense to him. Um, yeah, and then he goes in with the horn. So uh, I'll do one d six, but without the modifier. Is that right? So it would only be. Six. Oh, that's not bad though. Six. That's damage. right. He's excellent. Yeah. Six, Only but six no damage. modifiers. Okay. Because it's with my uh, secondary attack. A lot of the hand, cr a lot of the gauntlet, sorry, crumples inwards, and it's barely a hunk of metal floating above the ground now, almost wavering as the magic is barely holding it up and animating it. 
Surely there was a joke we made about hands of the clock and fighting big spectral hands. Ah, oh, there is, isn't there? Let's just let everybody come up with their own joke and imagine that we all made a hilarious <laughs> joke about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Putting it at Am and does go. Okay, well, I'm going to move so I can see that little so and so attacking Gene. Uh, that should be one up. And then. Pew! I'm going to be a little less cocky this time. <laughs> I lined it up. Oh, my days! Goodbye! Oh, damn! That is a critical hit. Oh, nice. Boom. So, first. That's, how are we doing criticals? Yeah, first, is this the first critical of the game? First. Uh, Combat no, crit. It's, it's the first critical by you guys. We had an NPC crit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Session. yeah, that doesn't count, Brad. All right. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, we're doing we're doing full damage plus roll. Okay, so I just roll a d6 then. Roll a d6. Roll. Oh, a one. Great. But that's still 13 points of damage. Mm. So damage on the damaged one or the not damaged one. Oh. Definitely on the damaged one, yeah. Right. Let's finish that bad boy off. It mm. pins the crumpled bit of metal to the wall and stays there. As in uh, it no in honor of our animated. fallen comrade, can it um can it be pinned to the wall? Yes. Like that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. More than easily. <laughs> and then I shall underarm. Can now I'm feeling cocky again. Underarm shot at the one by Misty. Yeah. Not even looking. Not even yeah, looking. not even looking. Damn! Okay! Oh. Okay! That. Nice. Oh, nice. For 10 points of damage. As I... Uh, like, when you're playing Laser Quest and you're shooting behind, behind you as you're running away, that's me. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the arrow bolt sticks halfway through the gauntlet's palm and it almost seems to weigh it down as it now struggles to stay animated. Mm -hmm. This gauntlet is now bloodied as well. Forgot mm. to say that for the last one. Uh, putting it at that gauntlet's turn, taking a swing at Misty. Oh, went off. Damn, the bloodied rule, is it? Do you have to be... Oh, is he frozen? Oh, no, he's fine. Um, no, I'm here. Just waiting still. Um, the bloodied rule, was it more... If the number was odd, was it... If you... Did you round you down? Always round, you always round down. So okay. If you were... Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm not bloodied yet, then. If you had 15, you had to have 7. So, okay. With a 16, yeah. that hits. Yeesh. Only dealing 2 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. It's, it's, oh. it's okay. fading animation. Right. Only manages to strike you, likely. Okay, I think these could have been, It could have been a whole suit of armor and we'd have been in well trouble. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think you're going Misty, yeah? Finish him off, Misty. Yeah, but it, uh, he gets an attack of opportunity, doesn't he? If you move away, yeah. If I cast a spell, though, isn't it? Oh, uh, no, that's only mage slaying, isn't it? That's only if you have mage Yeah, it's slaying. only as, if he has the talent. Oh, okay. Talent, not well, talent. Well, then... Cool? Feet. Feet. Now, my question to the group is, do you think these gauntlets have better decks than they do? I think they're quite... They must be quite... They're probably... They're better quite than fast, what? aren't they? Better desk well, than better than their art because they've got an AC of a high AC. That's seventeen. Well, yeah, you, you might might as well try decks. What's your decks thing? It's got a fifteen. Yeah. Might as well roll the dice. See how it goes. Yeah, fair enough. I'll let them roll the dice. Um, I'm gonna try and s I'm just like like a sort of uh, like an awful attack. I'm gonna just throw acid on its face. Go and... for it. It's got to make a deck save of 15. No problem. Let's... With a 10, it fails. Yeah. Nice. Good job it wasn't so with advantage. It's, <laughs> it's not a lot. But it's four points of acid damage. Yeah. I wonder if that does anything damage. else to it because it's... Uh, metal. Uh, it does not, unfortunately. Okay, fair enough. Some of the some of the fingers start to drop off and melt as this thing is now almost an, an indecipherable hunk of metal floating in the air. Love it. Put it now at uh, Jean's. Oh, sorry, yeah. Any more? No, I was just gonna say, Jean, it's time to finish it off. <laughs> Jean's <laughs> time-based. Oh, I like character it. Now. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It is June's right. go, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rope this into his character somehow, like properly. Um like he has a broken pocket watch or something, you know, there's just something like that. <laughs> uh okay, right. Uh Not I'll have to his pocket watch. I'll have... yeah, that's it, isn't it? Of course it is. Um alright, so I'll have to move forward to there. I can still... I can attack it from there, can't I? So I'll just take a mm. step forwards. Um and fingers crossed. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Damn it, mate. I. Nah. You haven't rolled. You haven't rolled over a ten. With that uh, it, it's star. really bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's, that's it's, awful. Yeah. Change your dice. Change your digital dice. Yeah. I should. That I want the. Do I want to get the wood ones like yours. Yeah. I'm sure the morning stars are strength. Is a strength based morning star. Yeah, he's got a plus six to it. I've plus. I've got plus six. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> I just can't seem to hit anything with it. So <laughs> I keep rolling really badly. So, so, I've just yeah. brushed off. All of uh, Octavius' luck onto you, it's great. Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah, I've got it now. There's got to be one be character with bad luck in every game, at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, so far it's me. And, uh, okay, the wheel to the clutch. This misses the hunk of metal, dodges and weaves, putting it at Amanda's go. Okay. Um, I'm going to shout, Loki's, which is Loki's luck, means duck, and then I'll shoot. And give it a go. Oh, that'll hit. That'll nice. hit. Oh, Christ's sake. Seven points of damage. Is more than enough. Oh, uh, uh, how does it how does it die? How do you do this? Mm. I think I'd like to pin it to um Jean's morning star. <laughs> Just becomes <laughs> part of the metal. <laughs> Just to make him feel like he's done it. Like a little well, bit, maybe, or maybe to rub oh, it because in a you did bit. that. You did oh, that with the last. Did, yeah. did the, the last, last one, I shot his shot his morning star, so it hit him. Yeah. But this time, <laughs> I'm gonna pin it to the. Okay. All right. Because we we go back, me and me yeah. and Gene. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Might all not. of my decent hits were made by you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> like maybe as a as a bounty hunter, that would make sense, wouldn't it? You know. All right, fellas. Before we go up here, shall we just check out? The, the man the chained up is now awake. It's like, oh, can, can you tie me down? Somebody let me down, please. I've been up here right. long enough. Do you mean let you down? You're already tied down up there. It doesn't matter. Uh, I guess. Do uh, who are no, you, I'm just going to do for it. What do you mean, who am I? I'm Clem Jasso. I mean, that means not. Does that mean anything to me? Roll history. That's my background. Yeah, description. Do, 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 Everybody do, 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 roll do. history, I suppose, if you mm. want to know who he is. I mean, he's local noble. 15. Yeah. 14. You know of the Jasso family. Is a uh, rather failing noble family in the... Uh, in the... Um, what is the quarter called? I can't remember what the quarter's called. The bonker junk quarter the for now. We'll just call it that. A John, the John quarter, in the upper city. That's not hard, is it? Yes. So <laughs> a rather failing noble family in the upper city. Ah, what has it? You're uh, maybe on your way down, like cutting you down now. But I guess in social standing too. I don't know. I'm very hurt. <laughs> Regardless, if you give me safe passage to my home, I'll I'll, I'll give you a reward. Yeah, well, tell us what that is first, shall we? Yeah. Uh, I won't know until until I could sort out my estate. And... Then I don't really know about your safety, mate. Surely, surely you'd want some form of reward. Yes, I, I would. Mean, yeah, I, I exactly <laughs> would. If you take me to where yeah. my house is, then I'll I'll give you a reward. Yeah, but what do you mean now? I mean, we're just we're very in the middle of this whole thing. Can you fight? Uh, I've jeweled, man. Great. <laughs> How did, uh, well, I mean, you're clearly alive still, so that means you must be proficient in something. Well, it, was, it was first to draw blood. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay, well, that's less exciting. Sure. Um, so you could go wait and have a massage while <laughs> we... Yes, I can uh, heartily recommend that. It's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, you want the, the uh, and he describes it there. The man with the rough a, hands. A massage? What do you mean, have a massage? I don't understand. That's why you're here, isn't it? 
But no, I was being lost. tortured. Are you, are you ever going to let me out of these chains, by the way? I mean, oh, yes, I figured this was a new age therapy. The thing is, we, we want to let you down, but we also want to explore what's going on here. So we can't really take you back to your house now. We can take you back, obviously, of course, and escort his uh, so most promising So you're just going to leave me here? No, no, we'll cut you down, no. and you can maybe hide behind this pillar for a while. Well, we could take him back to the crossroads, couldn't we? And he could make his way up to the massage, the bathhouse. Mm -hmm. Clean yourself off, because you smell a little, just going to say. And we can well, have a quick never. rest up before we head on down. Right, well, you shan't be getting any reward off me, but that's the best I'll uh, get. I'll no, take I, it. Uh, oh, well, still in the chains. Just want to clean that up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guys, guys, look oh, too smart. No, 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 no. Of course, of course, a reward. Yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, just gonna get that written, if that's all. Yeah. And I pull out like a, a contract that I've got. I've got plenty of them, right? Yeah, and I've got four. Them. I've yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Um, well, I can't sign anything up here. Well, you, actually, you can, and I hold it. I'll put the pen in his hand, and I'll put the contract by his by his hand. Uh. You'll find the it... terms are uh, quite agreeable. I can't read it. Can I read it? You don't need to. It just, it just says, you sign a contract with me to do a job, and in return there is a reward. To I've do left a job? The reward bit blank, you know, <laughs> the blank <laughs> check, yes, and either you point. or I can fill it out at any point, depending uh, on how we feel. Or it's in fine, fine. Sure, sure. Do you but reward You can it? fill it out. Sure, your yeah. uh, of course your reward will be a favour, whatever, and he signs it. Okay, mm, okay. I'll take that. Thanks very much. Chop him down from the chains. Collapses to the floor, almost limp. I'm having a little bit of trouble standing. Um, That's okay, Gene. You're the strongest here. <laughs> Yes, I do want to. I want yes, I want to just just poke my head into this area down here just before we I pick him up. Just have a just pop my head. It just seems to, see if to I... just be a corridor. Uh, one leads off back into the the flooded area with the pillars that you were just in, uh, and the other seems to lead to just a doorway here that is closed. Okay. Uh, could I go? So, do we? Are we thinking of just taking him? Here or taking him all the way up the stairs? Do we want to? I, I imagine just in instead, instead of instead of having to um, go all the way there, and can we just say, Brad, we take him back to the entrance area and sort of send him the back entrance up. area, but the, the flooded bit or the yeah, the bit where we enter. So we can go back into the bathhouse and get cleaned. Send him back okay, up to the so he's basically wanna... gone to the bathhouse. Okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't want him to come with us. Okay. He, he... You know, well, I mean. Teleports to the bathhouse. Go on. And we know where he is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. Just for uh, expediency's then... sake. Okay. I feel working. like uh, maybe I need to have a, a short rest of kinds. Well, here seems like a good a place as any to like put our backs up against the wall and mm -hmm. see if we can wait. Sit down. Sit down for an hour. Can we do that? Do we More think that's a good idea, to. everybody? Try. You can try, yeah. Okay. I think we should take a short rest here. I'm not looking so hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sure. I'll pitch up here. Uh, let me... Let me... Oh, fuck it. Eight. Oh, nice. That's why I should be healed. Okay. Clicked the take short rest button. Did we make it, Brad? Or do I need to roll that off? Give me a second. Okay. Yeah, okay. You healed that much? Yeah. Cool. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, nice. Uh, you will okay. take a short rest for a brief hour. Every now and again you hear maybe a shout, maybe a bit of water splashing in the distance. It's hard to tell where it's coming from. Uh, but nothing disturbs you. That was lucky. What? Uh, so, which way should we carry on now? 
Uh, I <clears throat> will intimate that uh, yeah, because actually it loops all the way around. So if we head down this way, we can come to this this doorway here. Right. Okay. So well, you want to head into that door that's there? Let's have a little listen, shall we? Yes. Mm. Who wants to do that? One of you. I'm. I'm unlikely to be the listener. Is it perception? But I can smash it down do? if you need me to. Brad, to listen to a door. Yes. No. Oh, sorry. I'm muted. Uh, yeah, just roll a perception, please. To see what to try and hear what's ever is beyond the, the door. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you hear some faint chanting of some sort. It, with your knowledge as a spellcaster, somebody is chanting a spell. Ah, right. We want to try and get up in on them. Mm. Yeah, now then, I agree. right. I should okay, stand then. at the doorway. Roll a group stealth check then. Oh, <laughs> Oh dear. Oh jeez fucking god, you two. <laughs> I've got gone, 22. Gone. My horns scraping to. against the walls and everything. My bag jingling around full of nippies, <laughs> full of files. Maybe I should still to hit on my own. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, yeah, this is not hot. <laughs> it's that okay. 20, 20 That's an average seven. of nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck okay so I mean they are casting a spell though they might be distracted so not with old thunderpants yeah. behind so them. what's the plan and how are you moving through you believe you are stealthed well let's go then well uh, as always Jean take up the front uh, and I am the follow. quietest and I Gently uh, open the door with uh, with my horns. <laughs> As the horns scratch <laughs> along the surface of the wood. <laughs> and my feet are going, you know, like an animal as well. <laughs> He's scraping his feet across the floor and everything. Okay, uh, let me open that door for you. You see right. it. Into the dark room beyond to your right, what looks to be a woman chanting a spell. She slowly turns her head towards you. What you see is a partially collapsed room. Three wooden beams that brace its ceiling. A frighteningly thin woman in a black robe was studying the corpse. Her face is largely hidden behind a cow. Around her feet you see a swarm of skeletal rats moving as almost Ooh. they are a single unit uh, I think this is the dirty magic as they call it <laughs> that's how they call it, the dirty magic <laughs> I'm for subtle heat over Gene let's go you've uh, interrupted me rush, casting up, my spell and everyone roll initiative <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell oh, such bad no. today 10. Come on, Gene. Get in there. <laughs> Go. Go. Uh, yeah. Such. I'm in the bad. middle of a of a, of my goring rush. Well, I might not be, but I'm. I Let's feel see. like that's what he's gearing up for. Ten, five, and nine. Oof. Yeah. Oof, indeed. Yeah. Oh well, Oof. no need to goring rush. They're gonna come to us. So, first to go well cast, is mate. the woman in the cowl. She's in our duck. She is going to... Halflings. Halflings like duck. Scorching Ray. Like say duck. Uh -huh. As she can't see anybody else but... <laughs> Jean. Yep. Jean. That's fair. Yep. Makes yep. sense. That's right. Yep. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Should probably get... 
Better armor class. Okay. She... Noted. The first one hits with a 24 as the ray scorches you for 8 oh, fire wow. damage. Yes. <laughs> the second one hits with a 25 for 3 fire damage. Oh, phew, phew, phew. The last one hits only just skimming you with a 14 it misses. I believe. Oh, I thought you said with a 14 turn of damage. <laughs> no, with a 14 okay. she misses. Okay. Okay. Are you safe right. to say that you're bloodied? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. Okay. Putting it yep. at Amma Anders' turn. All right. I'm going to slide between the hare's legs. So I'm you should, sure you should flip through the ears. <laughs> flip through the ears. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll do a leap, leapfrog over the hare yeah. and slide... So I'm going to shoot twice through Jean's legs at the um, at the woman, and then continue to slide on. Okay. Let's see what happens. Mm. Nineteen <laughs> to hit. Nineteen to hit does hit. Okay. Ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. There's it sinks into her thigh and she almost takes a knee as she staggers slightly. 25 to hit. 25 definitely Ooh. hits. And 11 points of damage off that. This one's sinking into her shoulder and she uh, almost falls to the floor with the second hit. She goes down to one knee this time but stands back up. You know what I should have done and I didn't do it. Should have made her my favoured foe. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, actually, when I hit a creature with an attack, I can do that. Does that cost you a bonus action to do it? It doesn't cost me anything, I don't think. Okay, I'm just free. Gonna... It's just free. I can action. mark the target, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do that so it does an extra 1d4. For next time, no problem. Uh, no, it can do two on when I hit a creature. I've just done it, so I've just hit it with my attack roll. So I oh, I see. It. Nice. Okay. So, so an extra, extra two, two damage. damage. Putting a just now beyond the bloodied. And I um I slide through and go finish up, Misty. Uh, it's I not me. It, uh, it's it's a gene. <laughs> <laughs> it's gene, is it? Right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna stride forwards. This time I'm going for three o'clock. Three o'clock right. low, he says. And he goes straight forwards. Oh, he's pretty horrible. This is a rat swarm in front of me, is it? This is a skeletal rat swarm, yes. Where was I? Here? Yep. Five, yep. ten, mm. fifteen. Scoot round them. Don't do twenty. I know. Twenty-five. Thirty, right? You can actually, have I, have you I got twenty-five or thirty? Hey, you would 30 take feet, an opportunity yeah. attack from the skeletal rats by moving around there. Because there's no, no, no wait. Oh, no, wait, got, wait. I think he's in the five. wall. I think I can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20, 20, 30. 20. That's 30. 30. Is it? Hold on. Yeah. I was here. Did you want yeah. me to move five, back one? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20. I can make it, can't I? I'm not going mad, five, am 10, I? 15, 20, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 15, you can go, you have to be. Can I go there. this way? Or is that because of that post? Can I not go that way? Which way? Where you... Oh, can you see it if I'm moving it around or not? You have to can I go it, this it... way, Diagonal? No, because the post is in the way. Okay. There's a post there. Well, how, how far can I make it then? There. Five, we ten, can still hit 15, her from there and not be in range of the rats. 20, 25, 30. Okay. Well, I don't know. I can't hit her from here, right? But Yeah, can... you can. That's five feet. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's five feet. On a diagonal side. Oh, this is a goodie, is it? That's a corpse. Sorry. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, cool. needs, so I thought that was who we were going for. That's a corpse. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, Finish okay, lovely. Well, that Great. doesn't become a corpse, basically. Yes. <clears throat> okay. I uh, I use my morning star. Oh, ah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's going well, isn't it? Hey. Oh, okay. I think you struck, I'll just sit this one you out, struck 13 on the clock there, I think. 
Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You should old... go back to whatever weapon you were using before because it was what good. What the fuck? <laughs> that one uh, was hammers. not the for you. hammers were better. Apparently. The hammers were good. He broke them. All right. No, I yeah. need a new weapon. Ain't that because didn't we pick up the Morning Star off some? Yeah, yeah. Awful... yeah. Sort of, yeah. You, put, you picked it's it up off the wall. Different. You're right. I need a new it's weapon. Weighted wrong for you. See, the horns are all right. They're doing all yeah. right. It's 19 yeah. on the horns. horns. Are fine. 19 hits. Yeah, let me just do a, a d6 on its own. Four points of damage with the horns. Four points of damage is you scratch her across the arm with one of your horns, razor sharp with the little bit of metal on the pit tip. Putting it at the rats go. They're going to move around to defend the hooded cowl of the woman. It's the same I thing. I don't know why I described it that way. Like wounds, shouldn't I? At some point, and they're actually going to move onto oh! your space as they start Gross. to swarm you and crawl all over you, attacking with their bites. Gross. Wait, only a twelve. They cannot pierce through your armor mm, yeah. and through your tough minotaur hide. You live with nice. Them. Yeah. I was born. I was born in the rats. <laughs> you, you were merely, you merely adopted the rats. Yeah. <laughs> you merely resurrected the rats. I was molded by them. I was born, molded by the rats. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, I didn't that. see right. a mouse till I was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see the whites of a mouse until I was a boy, and then it was nothing but blinding. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Utter nonsense. <laughs> Utter fucking nonsense. Uh, Misty, it is your go. Misty is going to step round the corner to hear <laughs> see Jean pull out a, vi a green vial, shake it. Uh, mm. Don't worry, Jean, this one's made of sugar glass. And I'm going to throw it at Jean. And... You get eight health back. Beautiful. Oh, Very nice. Beautiful. Cure wounds. Cure wounds. You get eight health back. And I like I can see where she singed you, so I like I aim for That's that. A... <laughs> Remember, mate, it's a touch spell. You're gonna have to get within five. Oh, is it? Me. Yeah. Fucking hell. Alright then in which case hang on, where was I? Five, ten. Mm. Fifteen. Twenty. Yeah, okay, cool. So I can make the so yeah, you still get the eight back from there. Mm -hmm. So instead I do that thing, you know, like you know like an Olympic swimmers when they like get to the edge and they like do a flip. I'm changing what I'm doing now. Uh I'm running over and I like jump on Gene and like kick him in the butt with my with my Yes thingy. That's and then good, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, like turning around at the end of a swimming pool and then I'm gonna get five ten out of there. <laughs> there you Ooh, as you do a few of the rats from the swarm jump onto oh, you. No. Oh. Bite oh, are they into you? Oh, because they're on his space still. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Fine. Cheeky With a critical hit. Don't you dare, Brad. And rolling a six, they do fifteen <laughs> points of piercing damage. No. I'm down. I'm down. As one of them, <laughs> as one of them <laughs> latches into your neck and rips out your jugular. I am oh. down. Fuck, that is unnecessary. <laughs> rats. Followed by rats. We don't have any healing potions, do we? Yes, you did buy some. Yes, we do. You yeah, we did three one potions. Each. Yeah. Why did I not put that on my equipment? Oh, yeah, yeah. We got really one each. important, doesn't it? <laughs> my character didn't want any. He wanted the bow instead. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, I'm down then. So, Jesus. all right. Yeah, sorry about that. All right. That puts it at. Is what it is. The w cowled woman's turn, as she turns to Jean. And... I can't find a normal potion of healing. I can only find greater. Is going to. Uh... Where's my bonus action? Uh, 
uh, there it is, that's the spell I was looking for, is going to fire at Jean Ray of Sickness. Uh -oh. For sake. Please make for me... Uh, oh, no. Make a ranged spell attack. Why didn't that come up then? There we go. Uh, with a 24 to hit. It's going to hit. Yeah, yeah, 24 hit easily. Uh, deals 13 points of poison damage. Right. Jesus Christ. And you are, I would be I down if you hadn't kicked that potion yeah. at me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. And you are now poisoned until the end of her next turn. Okay. I don't know what that means, but. It's a, if you can click on conditions in DD Beyond. Yes. And see it. I'm going to add it. Poisoned. Poison creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Well, it, well, it doesn't matter. That's wasted. Because I basically don't. <laughs> roll shit I basically any... roll shit anyway. anyway. The disadvantage, if anything, allows me to roll twice. So even though the odds are against me, like somehow in this warp, if I'm rolling badly twice, I might roll slightly less bad. Okay. All right. 17 and an 18, couldn't you? It is Anna. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Right. Shit, you now. So I come scurrying in scurry 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 moaning get this down your old null and shove the see mouth hole nice i'm going to shove the old um the old potion like roughly down he's like and i like pull the the stopper out spear the woman shove the potion down his mouth and then i'm gone Okay. Uh, well, how much does that heal me by? I don't know, because the only potion I can find, the uncommon potion is 2d4. 2d4. 2d4 plus 4, is it? Plus 2. 2d4 plus 2, yes. Okay. Fingers crossed. Hey! 8. That's 2d4, and I haven't added the 2. That's right. So yeah. nice. 8 points of healing, and you are now back up, but prone on the ground, Misty. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, good. Back to where I was when we started the previous fight. You would only be able to move back to there. No, so there. I... Oh, no, wait, wait. Yeah. You're moving diagonally, right? Yeah. Yeah. Being that's... sneaky, I'm halfling as well, so mm. I can, like, I've got... I've, I've, I've... Is that okay? I think that's I okay. don't know whether it is. Shall I look it up? No, I don't want to cheat. Let me look it up. I just don't know whether you... Yeah, you can move diagonally through a doorway. I mean, I think you can, but then and then I said he couldn't move through the post, so. Uh... No, right, you call it, you call it, it Brad. Okay, call it. I, I, I'm going to try and be consistent with the ruling. If you can't through, move through a post, you can't move through a doorway. Dave. Sure, yeah. I'll move back one. Fair down. enough. That's fine. I'm happy with that. To be fair, it's more people to hit, so. Uh, putting it at Jean's go. Okay. Uh, I need... How can we fight off the rats? Can we fight off the rats? Do you is there a way of me sort of like getting the rats off of somebody? Or... They're on. They're on. A, they're on you. Yeah. Oh. Uh. I think the best thing to do is just to. <laughs> it's just to. It's just to go down, and then they'll move away from me. They'll assume their work is done. They'll go somewhere else. <laughs> Um, but hit her it's... on the way down. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right. If you can Hold take on. her out, then we can run away from the swarm for a bit. Yeah. Okay. I just want to check. Poison does. This is poison creature disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Great. So Great. I'm gonna go in with the uh, morning star. This is the time you roll a twenty in it. Eighteen. <laughs> I fucking told you. Eighteen at disadvantage. Hits. You see what I mean? It's if anything, it's increasing my ability to. <laughs> You that's, to roll. that's amazing that's with disadvantage <laughs> that's phenomenal yeah. it, i know i just had a feeling the, it would work out it's going so slowly now that people are just confused no. the rats <laughs> are helping him the rats are actually he's disguising the he motion stumbled because he's poisoned he stumbled and actually hit her <laughs> yes exactly yeah <laughs> let's see if i actually do anything <clears throat> hey oh, 10 glorious. points of damage that's glorious 
Maybe, maybe it's, you know, when it's it's the mass is so, after so yeah. many swings, it's, it's even though it looks slow, the mass is so much. And all the blood's gone to your hand, is... so it's like it's super fast, super yeah. hard. It it's all up. veiny and disgusting looking. She, she, she lifts up her left arm and you catch her and <laughs> the arm breaks halfway and you oh. see it dangling from her. Nice. Bristed. Okay, I'm oh, going to try it. Good yes. Luck. I'm gonna, I'm, I might as well go in for oh, hammering horns because this is the hang first on. time I've hit for ages. Hang on. Yeah, we do. Oh no, it has to be the person you hit. Fuck, I was about to say otherwise you could have pushed the rats with your horns away 10 foot. Yeah. No, it says, really... actually, it says, uh, after. Uh, hang on, uh, let me just read it out. Let's see. After yeah. you hit a creature with a melee attack, as part of, uh, uh, is it as part of the attack action? No, yeah. I don't know. No. You can immediately use a bonus action to attempt to push a target within five feet of you. So it doesn't actually specify the target. A, yeah, Does just that make a sense? target. So yeah, you push, push the rats. You could use it to push you the rats. Could somehow push the rats with your horns. I yeah. think just, just, you know, like, <laughs> is you know, if like I just do a, like a, let, just, yeah, like, let me just check this. <gasps> you know, like when the like elk the bullish sort of like. Elk, sorry, what's the ones from Lord of the Rings? Are they like sweeping with their thingies? Yeah, the just, mama kills or the elephants, yeah. or whatever push they are. Push them onto her. I mean, I'm sure they, I'm sure they're friendly to her, but. <laughs> Uh, it must succeed a strength saving throw first. Um, yes, a strength saving throw of DC 13. It does seem like it's because it looks like you can hit someone and then hammer someone yeah. else. Yeah, within five feet of you, basically. I can't find anything that says it can't be pushed. Also, because I guess because it says push a target within five feet of you, it's it's inferring that like if you have a longer weapon, you can hit someone from far away mm -hmm. and then hit someone from five yeah, feet. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so strength. They strength. Roll... Uh, yep. Yeah, they roll a thirteen. A they roll a fourteen. Oh, oh fuck! Oh. These are yeah, some try. It's worth a shot, though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been. It's it's a cool thing to do, even though it didn't succeed. I'm I'm still rocking out. You know, trying to get them off, and they're all swinging on the, you know, rah, swinging off the horns and all that. Um, or otherwise, I could push them ten feet away, so I could, you know, push them in that direction, definitely, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some if I if I ever hit again or live after this well, round, you won't be you won't be poisoned at the end of the next turn. So. Ah. Okay. Okay. Good. Wow, so on the one opportunity that I was disadvantaged, I rolled better than I ever have this entire yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. Or last Maybe session. Maybe we found your power, well. your superpower. Yeah. Is, that, yeah. is that Angel Girl? You move yes, on? that's the film noir thing, isn't it? You put them on yeah. the back foot and somehow he manages to, <laughs> to do it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> He's beat up. Yeah, He's that's tired. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he can stand up still. There's some fight yeah. left in him. God damn it, Gene's yeah. got the best heart I've ever seen in anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, this... you're going to see that heart unless someone can actually save me. <laughs> actually going to see shortly. <laughs> the few rats that had attacked Misty make their way back to the swarm and they start biting into the Minotaur again. With a 16 to hit? Uh, 16, beat it, meet it. Uh, meet it, beat it. Yeah, so, yes. 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 Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Dealing Goodbye. seven points of piercing damage. As the rats yeah. start burrowing into your flesh. Yeah, He's I'm down. Come... Oh, damn it. Ah, uh, the rats, my only friends. Uh... <laughs> and then I, I go down. Putting it out I also, of uh, it... turn. Yeah, it was the right thing to do, but I do have a second wind that I forgot about, so maybe I, yeah. like, but I can yeah, use we it. Know, we know in the future. Uh, okay, I've got this. I use half my movement to stand up. Okay. My action, I'll do the same thing, and this is my last spell slot. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to heal Jean again. Okay. So, bonus action, cure wounds. It's only eight yeah, points, buddy. but you're back up. Mm -hmm. That's good. But, and and then, for my bonus action, I will use my... Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, cure wounds, not I'll... bonus action. Oh, it's healing word. Sorry, I'm interrupting. Healing word's yeah, bonus yeah. action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will use my... Uh, rabbit hop ability to jump without provoking any attack. Ten okay. feet. Good move. So nice. Sort of kick off of kick off of of Jean. Chow chow. I imagine I'll just to there, hitting the wall, like like sort of like sliding when you, when a rabbit like you know when like a rabbit like gets up and then just yeah. bolts away. Yeah, basically, <laughs> that's what I've done. Um, the legs like wiggling about. Yeah. 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 
I like the idea then, that you, where you push off and you use heat kill wounds through your feet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The, yeah. That seems to be the, the running theme with him, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and the then, old rabbit's paw. The I'm old rabbit's paw. Like a lucky rabbit's paw got me back up again. So then I'll still... I'm going to leave Gene in there by himself, but yeah, I'm going to have yeah, to... Yeah, Gene's on his own, mate. Five, uh, ten... Get through me. Yeah, I can, I've can. i still got 15 feet of movement, so I yeah. can eat, move to there. That'll do. Okay. Can't actually. I can't actually see any of that around me, um, but yeah. Yeah. You what do I stabilize on? You stabilize with eight, eight HP. HP. Eight HP. Yeah. Yes. Thanks. Putting at Blennis's. Oh well, you know her name now. Blennis. Well, you know her name now as well. Now. <laughs> Stay down. Stay down. Stay down, Gene. Stay down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good at playing dead. Not being able to see clearly enough into the dark corridor, but knowing that she has been shot three times now by a crossbow from there, she is going to <laughs> throw a fireball down the corridor. Mother fucker. <laughs> Sorry for the explicit tag there on our Twitch. <laughs> uh, please make but a dexterity we're... saving oh, throw, this is Misty. Absolute and... nonsense. Absolute Amanda. nonsense. <laughs> we could all be dead here. Oh! I think I'm down. Okay, so Misty, you take 13 points of fire damage. I'm I'm down. <laughs> and I'm down as well. And you, oh, take 20, you take 25 points of oh, fire no. damage. But I'm down. down as well. I'm down. You if I'd have saved, I'd have been alright. Putting it at Jean's turn. Mm. Uh... The cowboy um... is coughing and spluttering blood. She's barely stood up. She has a broken arm. Well, let's hope that I don't miss. <laughs> the what? Wait, wait. Do we think the smartest thing for me to do is just to just don't forget to you had a well short rest, so you have axe and surge, and you have second wind still up. You can. You true. should bonus bonus and action and get your second wind up now, and then you can attack twice or. You could attack, finish her off, push the rats, run, and get one of us up with your potion. That's the dream, right? That's the dream. Yeah, yeah, dream. yeah. So either way, I can go. I'll go in for the attack now because that will yeah. tell me how scared I'm going to be about the following actions, basically. Yeah. But if she's going to chase me or not. Second oh, you think second win first. first? Okay. 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 All right. So that's my bonus action. Boom, and I'm going to go like this. I can't okay. Not facing bad. A TPK. Seven points. Uh, of it's on 15 in total, right? He is now. He yeah. Is. So I, I that's <laughs> oh god. All right, Morning Star, don't fucking fail me star. now. Fucking. The, I'm getting rid of this fucking thing. There's no. There's <laughs> this cursed. I know that I for don't sure. Know, Bradley it might save made it you here, and then you might love it forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. If I, what's this woman's name? Because it's going to be called whatever she's called, Bane. You know, Glennis Bane is what Flennis. it's going to be called. I mean, you, if you want to know her actual like monster name, she is the Master of Souls. Right. Okay. right. Great. Well, that was really. Why did we take her on? Great. <laughs> Great. Master of rats, more like. And then I, uh, and then I bring the Morning Star down. Oh no! <laughs> Fourteen, 14. hits. Oh, yes! Fuck. Okay. Come on. Jesus. That's oh man, that's too tight. That is. Oh, oh, beautiful. Well, I can do with the morning star. Piercing Whoa. damage. How do you want to do this? Oh, oh fucking <laughs> hell. Um, um, it's about time. He says. Um, and then he uh, does wind <laughs> wind round the clock, and then you see all of like all the cogs turning. You know, like a Final Fantasy boss sort of when you use like a p magic that brings all yeah. this shit in, and then like. I don't know. They're inside a giant clock for a moment, and the time's Ayanetta. ticking. Yeah, and then inside there's like a locket with a clock in it, and on the other side is like his partner's face or whatever, you know. And his partner does a wink, and then he brings the <laughs> or something ridiculous like that. Um, and then what does this woman look like? I just want to know I'm doing it right. Oh, she's just thin, like malnutritioned. Just doesn't look like she's ever seen sunlight, and is. Basically, what the what you would expect from a like sixty year old necromancer crone. Okay, well in that case she's light, so I'm gonna take her round, sweep the legs out, and then down Crush on the head, the while she's on the yes. ground. Yeah, exactly. Absolute legend. 
And now the Morning Star is called. Did you say? Is it with two N's? Flennis Bane. Flennis. Yes, two N's. F L E. Flennis. Flennis. N N I S. There we go. Flennis Bane. Looking the Morning fireball, Star. Fireball man. She deserved that crush. <laughs> yeah. As as her skull is crushed, the skeletal rats deanimate and fall into a pile of bones. Ah, oh, man. Okay, are we out of combat or are we? And you are now out of combat. Okay, then I'm gonna go st stabilize you two. Um, yeah, who wants the po? I've only got one potion. Who's used theirs? I used mine. Okay, so uh, I, I haven't used mine. Can you stabilize? I'll... Can you can we just stabilize? Stabilize, Brad, or do we need to use a potion? Uh, he can rush anything? over and stabilize you, so you're both now unconscious at zero HP. Okay. Fine. So uh, we still, still need to use a potion I'll, to get. I'll, I'll use, use my potion to get uh, not unconscious. Yeah. Well, okay. use it on me then, please. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, so, yes. Okay. Two D four plus two for Misty. Uh, two D two D four. You mean? Yeah. Two D two D four plus two. Four points um, of healing. Oh, I thought you rolled two ones then. Six points. Four, six, six, points, points. Oh, six, right. points. six points. Oh, okay. Six points. Nice. Sorry, I rolled them separately. Yeah, I didn't realize. Um, and then yes, and then I'll, I'll get you right. up, and then I'll do the same for. Uh, I'll do the same there. Yeah, so. on your considerable feet, soldier. And I pick the hair up. Um, eight points. Eight for, Thank you. For play uh, changes, I am Amanda. awake. Fucking hell. Oh, I have been burnt. I have been bunched. I have been slashed. I have... <laughs> what? What? This is crazy. No? What are we doing? I'm supposed to sell stuff on the street to rich folk and fleece them and take their money and give it to the poor people. But no, I'm in here <laughs> getting attacked. What is happening? Amanda walks over to the... um to the corpse the of the master of souls dips his fingers in her blood and wipes it on his face <laughs> spits on a <her> corpse <laughs> <laughs> and then misty goes over and searches it <laughs> <laughs> uh you find a black leather book that sports a tiny skull shaped locking mechanism on the front um, don't she also that. carries <laughs> one of those uh, skull flails, and you detect that her robe is somewhat magical. All right, tell uh, us about this robe, mate. Mm. You have to identify it to find out. Interesting. What I mean. Okay. Well, grab the robe. We'll grab the robe of the book. Mm -hmm. Grab, grab robe. Grab book. Off. What about robe. the other corpse? What's going on in the other corpse? The other corpse is just a long dead body, almost basically bones at this point. Uh, you okay. assume that the chanting was her trying to animate the corpse to life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I don't know about anyone else, but I could take a, a little rest right now. Uh, I mean, I could also take a rest, but I feel like it would do me no good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a little rest. <clears throat> I, uh... I'm sore from the uh, the massage earlier on, and then he uh, yeah. So I I'm okay with taking a rest. Yeah, I might. Yeah. Okay, are you taking another short rest? Gonna I think to. it's necessary. Eight. Right. Okay. Fine. Eight more. Fine. Ah. Uh, okay. So well. Um. Do you want the bad news or the bad news? The well, I guess it's all bad news, isn't it? Uh, I've <clears> completely <throat> run out of healing potions. Okay. Uh, my own ones and the ones that we bought. Yeah. Uh, so I have nothing left. Um, <laughs> I guess I shall just stand at the back and cheer you all on. <laughs> I, wonder, <laughs> I wonder how much of this godforsaken place we have to explore. I do not know. I'm not sure. I wonder whether I mean... they'll repopulate if we go. Or are they going to mm. burn the place down? Well, I uh, I think uh, we should burn the... 
it's hard to burn a bathhouse down, as you as you mm. as you'll be aware. You but uh, probably burn burn this woman to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I need something to light my cigarette on. <laughs> Let's uh, <laughs> or some kind of equivalent, like my uh, pipe, my uh, fantasy pipe. I mean, they know we've come here though, so if we mm, so decide we to, to go on, and come back tomorrow, if mm. we decide to go and come back tomorrow, they may not be here. Mm. Uh, ah, uh, sometimes uh, I've heard of the. Uh, uh, it was uh, in a place uh, called uh, Ch Chona Town. They, uh, an old Chona Town. They had an issue with the water there. You see, um, so I'm thinking maybe. Uh, we can flood the place because sometimes a cleansing uh, flood of water can do the same job as fire uh, in many ways. It's a, it's a sewers. It's a great idea, but um... <laughs> I don't know. We, I just, the city to we just need to raise time. this <laughs> place to the ground, don't we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you I mean, well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> we could definitely. We could he's definitely go on. He's, out, he's embarrassed now. He's out of ideas. Well, I mean, if we rest, if we rest. Oh no! <laughs> Nothing what? down there. You see a oh, hallway to your right, which ends in a door here, and it still curves around the corner. Listen to the door, Misty. Okay, I shall listen to the door. Use those wine and beers. Have a have a little pe pe perception check. I got an eight. An eight. Sean you has, hear a, um, you hear a... Oh, okay. oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's left of pure embarrassment. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, what you hear is some... Maybe some faint rats squeaking beyond the door. Nothing else. I think there's more of those rats going. Uh, maybe what we should do... Uh, I don't know whether we should carry on. We are very broken. What are we going to do? Rest up for 24 hours and come back? Well, I mean, not 24. Maybe only 8. <laughs> uh and then come back later. That's the only thing. I mean, unless we could risk us all dying, or we could potentially do that. I I don't know what is the. No one got anywhere by turning back. Ain't that right, G? G? It's just stood staring at the wall, frozen. <laughs> oh God! He's gone into one of his. He's gone into one of his fugues. It's, no, it's, <laughs> he's in his deep thinking prose. He just he just stands stock still. He does this sometimes. He's um, <laughs> mapping out. He's mapping out the uh, the maze in his head. Mm. He's <laughs> yeah. thinking back on the way we came. Uh, okay. Well, I think we should maybe move. Is there anything else moving forwards in the other directions? Um, uh, oh, you're now in the pitch black. Yeah. You, you can feel your way, and it ends into another doorway here. Can we move? Sean put a message in the oh. group. Can we move? Do you want to just switch the switch the overlay to just uh, yes, so the will. Discord? Just for now. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, funky. We're going to get funky. Uh, give me a second, everyone. I have to change the shizzle. Me and you are fine. It's only Dan that looks weird. Yeah, it's like half my ear. Yeah. Yeah. If you move, go. like... Sorted. Whichever way it is. That's my, that's my quick... That's my quick, my quick transition whenever we have problems. Nice, yeah. That's fine. That's all good. <clears throat> uh... Sean said we should keep moving forward. Can you can you move him to where I am just so we've got light in here? Yes, of course. I is there just... anything else around that side? So that stairs is a going door... up. Stairs going up to a wooden door. Here. Okay, I will listen at that. Wooden okay, door roll then. me another perception then. Dirty 20. Are you rolling oh. with advantage, by the way? Because you have advantage with perception checks to do with hearing, right? I don't have advantage uh, really? for perception checks. No. What kind of rabbit doesn't have perception advantage yeah. on hearing? Damn. Uh, <laughs> it's not it's not my ears that are good, it's my feet. Uh, See that's the thing. Fair enough. Uh I can move yeah, head move faster. It is I just, silent I get as the grave in there. I get proficiency with the perception skill. Yes. But that doesn't mm. Okay, doesn't fair mean enough. That, yeah. So it's a free free proficiency more than anything. It's yeah. as silent as the grave in there. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't uh, like having a door behind me. Uh, it's gone badly for me before. So I'm going to sneakily okay. open that I door. will. I will not assist in any way. No, any just me. While well, they've gone on because they've <laughs> fucked up so many I'm times. I'm going to move Jean so the light doesn't go through mm -hmm. the doorway for you. Yeah. If that makes sense. And then, yeah. Yeah. Roll a stealth, please. This is when I fuck up, innit? Yeah, of course. 20. Nice. 20. You slowly edge the doorway out. And beyond, you see... It's pretty dark in there. You don't mm -hmm. have dark vision, but you can just about see a single rat scurrying about. Oh, just a single rat? Does it look bigger than a normal rat? No. Nope. And I can't hear... Now that the door's open, can I hear anything more? No, you just hear that one rat squeaking around. Okay. I shall just as silently close the door. Okay. What? What was it? What was in there? Single rat, apparently, mate. Okay. Uh, I'm sure there's a joke about relationships to be made here, but I'm too hurt to have it. Or the single rats or something. Hey, like Gene, that. have you finished? Have you finished doing your thing yet? Gene. 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 Jane! <laughs> Jane! Okay. Ah, uh, well. You are... So I guess if there is nothing else in there, what do we want to do? Go in there or move through this door? Well, I guess you can move through if you want. Okay. I will remove the doorway. Well, I guess we should we should probably wait for Jean because Jean is our light source. Effectively. Yes. Gene is our, is our one and only. It's your Listen, guiding Steve. light. Tell me about, tell me a bit about, have you been adventuring before or is this new to you? Uh, this is 100% new to me. I have only been uh, in the city and as I said, you know, I learned my craft there. I guess some people say the city is a dungeon, but you know, uh, that's maybe just because they're not used to the stench yet. Mm. Uh there's a lot going so you've on. never been crawling down filthy tunnels searching for cultists before? Uh, no, I feel like you probably have, though. Yeah, me and Jean do it all the time. So what should we do in this situation, then? You just keep going until you fall unconscious. Okay. Well, or someone else falls unconscious. I've that, fallen unconscious three like times three already? times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes. We're doing great. We're doing great, my little man. I, um... I'm impressed with your skills. Where did you get those? Mixing up did those you, little did potions. Did you want fall, fall over? <laughs> yeah, hey, look. Falling over is fine, as long as you get back up again. That's very true. I guess there's some tenacity in it uh, I probably got from my mother. Hmm. What'd your mum do? Uh, she was a chimney sweeper. <laughs> right. Well, this is right up your street, then. Uh, so you guys were talking that. about how I was the uh, light oh, of Jean's your, uh, oh, the light back. of your, the light no, of your no, no, lives no, no. or whatever. We didn't say anything like that about you. However, I'm very glad you've done that thing where you've mapped out everything that we've been through because that's one of your skills, I know. Ah, uh, yes. yes. Entering the mind palace. <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> and it's just like, even though this doesn't make any sense, there's just slabs of like prime cuts of beef and stuff in there. And he's like. Weird. Maybe he's. I don't Isn't know that why that is. For a yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's. Maybe. My, maybe it's all right. Though. Know, around maybe around mine all was he sees a... is the bodies of his cousins. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, mmm, a delicious steak. He's just thinking about marbled steak and all that. It's vanity, really. It's like the equivalent of having like a mirror, isn't it? <laughs> At a gym. Um. Yes. Okay. I've mapped it all out. Of course I have. Of course I have. It's yeah. like saying if we've entered our mind palace, we'd see nice cut slabs of monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's like for him it's like seeing like the marble of what might be inside of his oh, okay. you know like inside his flanks and his stuff it's like for him that marbling of sirloin and whatnot that's how he shows his strength <laughs> isn't it that's his equivalent of being like a why, why a you mine at all exactly yeah yeah <laughs> wasn't that what Dan was calling me last session Wait, yeah, yeah. yeah okay I will uh, open up so this I... doorway yes and please, somebody else go ahead. 
Have we checked what was south yet, or are we? It was yeah, a single, was a a single row. There. Now, if that was Johnny, we would have spent like sort of 20 minutes trying to get into the door, figuring out if we can talk to the rat. Then Christine would have figured out if it was the rat could be our friend and could help us in later missions. And then Sixsmith would have talked about how oh, the world's falling apart and you're talking to a rat. And then we've just been this whole thing. And that would have been the end of, the, end of it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Lack would have stabbed the rat. And Ryan would have gone, we just spent an hour talking to a rat. So... <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad that when I came back, it was that was the exposition or that was needed. That rat is a shapeshifter, and we're going to get stabbed in the back. But you know, we'll oh find out. fuck! The whole day. Now we know why we spend an hour, you know, yeah. testing a rat. The oh. rat was actually the cultist leader. Actually, it was the god Baal. <laughs> it was the god Baal all along. Oh Baal. no! Of course it is. They love that sort of stuff with gods, don't they? I thought about shooting it, and then I thought, what happens if it is something worse? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it, it, yeah, and it's four. You open its form up and it mm -hmm. yeah, well, yeah yeah so we can come back and sort that rat out yes. on its own in a bit all right is there a way of sort of jamming this door did it open inward or outward uh it opened inward it's mm. annoying oh well i'm just gonna put a peat on in stop it opening mm. Mm. never mind okay so okay next you're gonna move into the next room. You're gonna stealth into the next room. You're gonna. Do you know what? <laughs> Gents, let's just fucking saunter in. The thing is, I can't see in the dark, so uh, I feel like it might be something that's coming to me, hanging out with you a bit, Gene. Mm. But it's not something I can do yet. Creeping mm. around in this dark, I wish mm. I, could, I need to eat more. That's carrots. a good point, actually. I should have been giving Gene disadvantage because he's on a torch. Oh, yeah, but I have that weird thing where I can still see in the in dim light right or something i could still no, see in pitch black of, none of you have dark vision as far as i'm aware no i don't have dark vision but i have a weird um i have a weird hang on let me just check because it might conflict oh, you have with blind sight 10 feet yeah mm -hmm. yeah i just want to have a yeah let me have a quick check see if that affects me in any way i mean 10 feet is not very far no you're right That's enough when you're hitting them though but I can see anything that isn't behind total cover, even mm -hmm. if I'm in total darkness. Okay, so I can really see creatures. Oh, yeah. it says anyth anything. Oh, oh, yeah. You can yeah. see anything within 10 feet. Okay. You're daredevil within yeah. 10 feet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're daredevil, that's, but within think, 10 feet I think that feet works only. through magical darkness and stuff as well. So. Okay, cool. Right. Um, all right, let's go. Boom. I'm just going to uh, go in this Brad, one. Brad, my camera's... Not on on Discord. Not on on. Oh, and yeah. now Brad's also click. muted. Oh, you're bad. Yeah, I have to click it and then go back into grid. It's weird. I don't know why it does it. Okay, so you cool. move into this dry, partially collapsed room as you move down the hallway. It contains a stone altar with humanoid skulls and bones piled up around it. The top of the altar is covered with dozens of half-melted candles of black wax. All of them are currently unlit. Mm. I don't like it. Uh, uh, I you want guess... me to get rid of all these candles? They're pretty suspicious. Oh, are they in some kind of arrangement? Can I see if they're in some? The candles are in they're some kind just, of arrangement. The, almost the whole altar is covered in these black candles. Not a single one's lit. Right. Okay. Can I investigate the altar? Or just the room itself, like have a little investigate around the room. Is there anything to find <clears throat> in here, Brad? No, there's just the floor is covered in human bones. Ah, well. This place is there's a lot of sacrifice, it appears, that happens here. Mm. Yeah, might also just be a dump room, you don't really know. Alright, well. Let's walk through carefully. What does a 26 get me looking at the altar and bones? A 26 gets you that there's no blood or dried blood or anything. Uh, the altar is relatively clean apart from the candles themselves. Uh, wow, this might be another restroom for them. I think this is where they do their meditation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm fine to follow on from the next person. Shit, I can't see a thing. Where am I? 
Thank you. There you go. <laughs> uh, Jean, you are the leader of this. I shall just head down to the bottom of these stairs. Something, it, while I'm, because I'm, because I'm um, behind everyone and I'm still f worried about that rat following us, can I make a perception check? Yep, go for Just it. to see if anything's following us or if there's anything weird. Oh, ten. Everything's fine. Ten. It's all good. You can't hear anything that is scuttling around behind you at all. Mm. Okay. Let's keep moving. Okay, you uh, move my... into the next room. Just there. The ceiling of this flooded room supported by numerous wooden beams. As you walk in, a smell of rotten eggs hits you. As you walk through. Dean. Told you. Stop eating that cabbage <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's, a, it's the food of my people. I mean, it's supposed to marble me on the inside. Uh, well, it's supposed to be can you, my nose before, on the outside. Can you, before you walk into the room, please make a survival check? Oh, Ooh, Gene. I have a bunch of those. Gene? I do. Because I've got a ring in my nose. So it's, I'm fine. You realise just in. before you enter the room fully that this rotten egg smell is Ooh, actually like flammable stuff. gas that fills yes. the room. Ma Easy now, tiger. Yeah. Who else? Does anyone else get... Is it just me at this point that knows this? It's Charlie. only you that realises so okay. far. Because the, you're the only one that can really smell it as you move into the room. Okay. Your candle, uh, your candle, your torch is almost flaring a bit. Uh-oh. Okay. Step back. Uh, one of you guys want to take the torch? I've had it for a while. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> no, it's fine, Gene. You're all good. Shall we do what we did with the mould earlier where maybe we run around the corner and I <laughs> set it on fire? <laughs> Are we can we infer that if we throw a flame in there it would keep burning it's not one of these things that would burn up how much do we know about this kind of sulfury does that make sense you know like sort of burn out the gas by setting it on fire or are we in is it it's going to blow this whole place up sort of thing um you would infer that if you moved any further into the room it would light all of the flammable gas in the room on fire okay okay very quickly we do what we did last time with the thingy gas. Well, it's possible, but I think it might it, it might like ignite and stay ignited. <clears throat> that makes sense. It no, might be fuel, like well. fuel eventually burns out. There's no infinite fire <laughs> unless you're using that torch of the deep or whatever. But it it's might called. explode outward like thirty feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I'm fireball. suggesting is I can throw well, my you, fireball 120 you, feet. Right. We, when you moved into the hallway, you couldn't smell the gas anymore. No longer smell the gas in the hallway. Okay. So and I'm just bite around like, the corner at, and like, let Misty do what he thinks he's gonna do. Yeah. Okay. Everyone, uh, it's your the, funeral. Uh, moved literally, the... I'm moving the hell away. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna uh, duck behind, even though I can't duck sufficiently. Yeah, that's the the altar I'm, seems like a good. I'm gonna I'll let you get behind the altar. I'll go here. So I will. <laughs> I will. Uh, Throw it as far as I can, and as soon as I throw the fireball, I'll run back in to basically behind Gene. Okay. Uh, you hear a huge explosion as the gas expands outwards and fire rushes to catch up towards you. Only Misty make a dexterity saving throw, please. <laughs> as the fire also, we might want to bear in mind that this decision might have blown somebody up or something up that we need. <laughs> oh well. It's a 10. Would that f fail? That succeeds. Okay, fine. You take 8 points of fire damage as you take half I am fire down. damage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we've got no peeling. It's just um, this singed bunny let me, let me double, around. Let me double check about the stabilised rule. <laughs> Yeah, I um, yeah, I mean, Sixsmith would have had like a so lot like, to say about that. Minute, so like, I, but I, I threw it and ran. So like, I was, but I was aiming. I guess as soon as it enters the room, right? It's still the the gas fire, expands. Isn't it? Yeah, the gas yeah. expands as soon as it hit. Uh, depends how fast you throw. I not yeah. have like thrown it like round the corner. 
Still would have got it. A stable creature that isn't healed regains one hit point after one hour. So you'd have to take oh, a short rest so again. You have to sit here for an hour, basically. Yeah. It's okay. I'm fine. I think I can. Oh, my yeah. boys. The, 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 the flames, as they rushed into the room, actually lit <laughs> some of the candles up on the altar. Ooh, fuck you sake. see that's annoying isn't it yeah you see writing fuck we should have cleared the fucking candles gene even said man you yeah. see uh -oh. you see writing sheds a green light on the walls oh. ah okay they say rise and be counted oh fuck what are the candles <laughs> <laughs> You blow the candles out and the writing fades from view. Okay. <sighs> well, nothing else will happen while we're down here now. We're all Thank okay. God for that. <laughs> That's the last of our problems, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, it takes you an hour to recover the one HP. In the meantime, let's. Let's see who comes to yeah. check out that explosion. It's a rat. <laughs> you hear biting in the distance, but nothing else. Uh, okay. A fighting means we should sneak up on them and kill them while they're fighting each other. Yeah, I'd if we pretty could. pretty much drag, drag the hair behind me. Come on. <laughs> Fucking merchants. Come on. Oh, yeah. I mean, I could pop his... Could we travel extremely slowly and I could pop his body on my horns in between the horns and carry him on my head? What, me? Yeah. Uh, but we'd have to yeah. be very cautious. You'd be moving at half speed, yeah. So it'd just take you longer to get through the... I, I'd allow that. I'd allow that. Yeah, just to not waste an hour. But like, we'd also definitely be cautious because we would need... If there was yeah, any if... sign of something kicking off, we'd have stopped. Yeah. Well, considering he has to wait an hour... Yeah. Uh... You move 15 feet in six seconds at a sprint. So if you're walking, we'll say like five feet in six seconds. So, so we can definitely like survey the damage while we're waiting of the explosion. Yeah, while we're yeah, you peek around the corner and the whole middle of the room has collapsed. And let me just draw a red square so you know what bits are now inaccessible. Ooh, so interesting. It is now inaccessible to go in those directions. Oh, man. You can guarantee... I think I know how Bradley like, works. There would have been some there fucking like, amazing weapons back there and shit like that. <laughs> yeah. And it was like a puzzle that we had to solve. And we just fucking firebolted it and destroyed everything. <laughs> well, we'll never know. Who cares? Let's move on. Who cares? Goodbye. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Should we let's listen in to this one while we've got uh, the uh, hair? I'm not going to waste your time. That goes back to the room where you fought ah, oh, with thanks. the chain okay, dudes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, right. Cool. Got you. Um, all right, and in that case, I guess we're going this way. You peek around the corner, and it is just more of the same flooded room. Oh, thank you. You finally uh... move up. To to some stairs you see beyond a long hallway with a dead end there what looks to be a dead end there but as you peek into this you see a door just mm. here oh, Gene, hang on there's two more doors no, over nothing here. behind there great lovely it, it's <laughs> deathly quiet behind there i'll try and stealth it open is that all right okay okay Roll me a stealth no, 25, check. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Uh, inside, you see. Gene, come back. Oh. Uh, where's that? Is a partially collapsed room with a stone sarcophagus that has already been opened, with nothing mm. inside. Great. All right, move on. Uh, moving on. There is another doorway here. I'll have a listen again. Really should have I can, I can. Oh, wait, no. Am I, am I still not? Out? I don't know what happened there. You're still knocked out, unfortunately. 
Okay. But we can, if we think that we're going to run into trouble, we can sort of re pitch up somewhere and rest, you know, wait yeah. for you to recover. Nothing behind uh, that door. Hopefully. Couldn't hear anything. Nothing behind that door. Indeed, you do not hear anything beyond that door. Are you cracking that one open? Are you cracking uh, this one open? I guess, I guess I should, shouldn't I, stealthily? Okay. Again, you that see might. a very similar room of a carcophagus? Sarcophagus. Sarcophagus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Its heavy sarcophagus. stone lid is lying on its side beside the sarcophagus and the wall at the back. Otherwise, an empty room. Is it empty? Is the sarcophagus empty? Uh, a casual search of the sarcophagus turns up nothing but dust and a few scattered bones. Empty. Hmm. I assume you keep moving then? Keep moving then, Gene. Okay. As you move further on the corridor, there is another doorway here. The doorway up here that you see, you can see the rubble almost pushing the door outwards as it's been lifted out of right. its hinges, and you know that to be just a collapsed room. It's one of those pointless doors in a game where you see it. That's just <laughs> yeah. Tetris, and why the yeah. fuck do they put that there? Yeah. Nonsense. Just leave a wall. Yeah. yeah. But it's it's actually it's not it's not actually that it's it's a really long corridor with a chest at the end, but there's a bench in it that you can't jump over. Oh, so, so, no. Yeah, so you can't Little get all high. the way around. <laughs> break a bit of wall down somewhere later on. <laughs> okay, uh, you have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You put your ear to this next door. It doesn't matter what you roll because you hear faint humanoid moans beyond the door. Mm. Uh, I think. So, uh, Couple of people are doing the old. Uh, what what would yeah. be the the yeah? What would be the equivalent of having sex in the Cockney rhyming slang? You know, making love. A bit of, bit of death from above in there, I think, uh, going on. <laughs> it's the old death hens above, clucking, mate. Below. It's a bit of old the hens old, clucking. The old hens clucking. The old clucking hands. Um, <laughs> and he indicates that uh, maybe Amanda could open the uh, open the door. I'll have a little. <laughs> Shit. Oh, you want to open the moaning. door? Moaning implies ghosts, is all I'm going to say. Oh, know. I get, I figured it might have been torture or something. But wailing, I would have thought, would be ghosts. Yeah, moaning, true. zombies, or being tortured? Uh, brains. <laughs> Do we really want to open this? I guess we should fucking open it, shouldn't we? Oh, no, I mean, I think... It, well, okay, can we identify what kind of moans they are? Like, does it sound like someone being tortured? Does it sound like some sort of unearthly being... We must be able to discern, like, what kind of moaning it is. Um, roll me a perception check if you want to do that. Okay. Ooh, it's ten. Just skirted over the nineteen. Ten. You can... It has the sound... The faint, like, gurgling sound of something's not quite right it's not a human sound okay uh i defer to you and i defer to the to the bounty hunter he'll know whether to enter a door with that noise behind it i'm sure You're muted. and i take i take <laughs> i take a careful step that way oh you're muted, you, muted. Dan. what did you see Nothing. And just... all I, no, nothing. And with a ten, I only heard like gurgling. Stand oh, wait, by did the you door. Open, sorry, did you open the door? No, not oh. yet. Stand by the door and tell me what you feel behind the door, Jing. Stick okay. His, stick his hand out. Because you've got a blind sense. Oh no, can I, that's part anything that's not covered by partial cover, right? Yes. So wouldn't the door door is covered. Is considered full cover, yeah. I'll try yeah. anyway for flavour. And I'll like. You, reach, and I'll you, put, you close your eyes and you reach out. And you feel a, yeah. yeah, you feel the door in front of you. Yeah. And just behind something... him, just behind him, I'm gonna gently open the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stealth. Oh, I'm gonna stealth open I the can, door. I can see uh, something in there. Uh, and then just stealth open. <laughs> and then whatever I see in there, Brad, I'm gonna relay it as if it's a vision that's come to me. Okay. Within ten feet of you, you feel saying, three, three human 
type uh, humanoid <laughs> creatures that are standing dead still facing away from you. They do not Let it never react. be said that Bradley doesn't m mix his wails and his moans. Because I said it was going to be zombies or tortured humans. It looks like fucking zombies. Um, they do not react okay. to you opening the door nor to the light of your torch. Okay. Uh, close. Yeah. Bradley. <laughs> I, uh, I saw uh, some was figures. Uh, the fuck was that? I saw uh, figures with their uh, backs like, to us. Yeah, it's almost like that scene uh, from uh, what was it? I am Legend. Smith's I am Legend. He walks through yeah. and the vampires are all <laughs> in the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I uh, uh, I saw uh, figures with their backs to us. I think we need to go in there and help them. They look like they're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, but they uh, are they paying, Gene? Are they paying? Are they paying us to save them? Yeah. Well, how many contracts do you have in there? Because there was a uh, lot of them. Uh, my uh, contract is to kill cultists. And I was very careful in how I said that. <laughs> but we're not here to save zombified humans, are we? Yeah, now, oh. now you say that, I think they were a little bit zombified, yeah. Oh, to fuck spiders. <laughs> what? Sorry. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I think the rabbit. Uh, I think was, one of the uh, one of the that, zombies just said something. I think that I think the fu the fumes got to his head, mate. <laughs> burnt a few brain cells out there. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll try my vision on the next door, and I go to the next door and I do the same ritual. You, you feel a door in front of you. Um, ah, sorry. If you want to roll a perception to hear beyond the door, you're more than welcome. That would be okay. good. Okay, that's 17. Uh, you hear... This time you do hear moans, but of a woman in pain. Uh, definitely zombies in here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he says. <laughs> um, I feel something uh, 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 hard and uh, uh, slightly coarse. Uh, sort of like oh, uh, wood. Behind him. Sort of, it's sort of like a wood. Um... And uh, and he just and, just ends up describing that fucking the door, hell the door, uh, underneath his arm. I just this, we've done this hundreds of times before, <laughs> and and he just reaches underneath and opens the door for him. He believes he's got like the hoodoo. He's got like yeah. the sort of you know the sixth sense. Okay. I'm he happy to it. let him as long as he goes first yeah. through a door. The, the slow yeah. methodical <laughs> approach through the rooms means that uh, 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 Misty is now awake with one HP. Okay. Mm. Lovely, thank you. Uh, as you walk in, you see that the walls and the floor of this room are covered with streaks and splashes of dried blood. Two dangling bodies are shackled to the east and south walls. One is an elderly human male, the other a young female teethling. Teethling? Teethling. Teethling's completely different things. <laughs> yeah. Both are covered in bloody gashes and neither is moving. The woman is making faint moans of pain. In the middle of the room is a sturdy wooden chair with bloody whip draped over it. A bucket God, with half-filled yeah. salt sits on the floor nearby. Oh, That is oh. disgusting. That's brutal. Right, uh, Misty, that woman doesn't look so well. Alright, I'll limp over and give her a medicine oh. check. That is hard to tell. Uh, the female tiefling is currently unconscious, but stable. And the one at the south is dead. Is dead. Well, I'll cut that okay. down just quickly. Body. Well, not quite yet until we know that they're not allied with the person who we're about true, to. True, true, true. But I'll just cut them down um, just for the sake of, you know, uh, dignity. I guess and so. also just to see if I can cut them down easily and if it's if we need to catch the other one or anything, if it's like there's some work involved. Can this... I, I don't know, like, like try and, like, wake her up without, like, like a smelling salt or something like that, or... Uh, she doesn't react to anything that you do. She looks too damaged. Are you... Okay? Who did this to you? I'm getting nothing out of this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um... 
Uh, I'm not getting anything out of this one either. And he's doing this, he's trying to do the same thing to the corpse. <laughs> Weekend at Burnings. Yeah. Burnings. Checking out the checking out the chair and the rest of the room. Uh, the only thing you find on the chair is the whip. It is covered in blood. Uh, mm. The rest of the room, the only thing you find is said bucket of salt. Uh, okay. The rest well, of the room is just solid stone. I shall take the whip. Okay, you now have a whip. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Hmm. Okay. I guess we, if we cannot, maybe we can try and save this one on the way back, but... Yeah, if she's non-responsive. Should, should we cut her shackles anyway and just leave her so she's well, not that, horribly chained up? That seems nice enough, doesn't it? I'm going to release release her shackles. Not, the shackles let me... off her feet so she can dance. <laughs> okay. I might I might she's, check this person. The she's on not the, loot them. She's just on the floor unconscious. Uh Put her in the. Oh, I don't want to put her in the chair. That'd be horrible, wouldn't it? I'll put her in the recovery position. Okay. That's what I'll do. She's she's on the floor in a slight fetal position against the corner of the I room. I just want to check the other person to see if they've got any identifying sort of. We can take it to their loved ones or anything. Anything on them that we we might want to sort of uh, identify they them have with or nothing on them. They're clothing is in tatters everything that is of, of value or anything even not of value was taken off them right okay okay uh i guess we keep moving i mean gene if you don't mind me sitting between your horns again it was kind of fun <laughs> it nah, makes it look like okay. you've got those ears you can get at a festival <laughs> you know what I mean? it's quite uh, what's a festival oh mate you haven't lived it should wear all of the uh, the hippy dippy types. They go out and they uh, dance around the all the maypoles and whatnot. Uh, listen to all their boom boom bam music and drugs, and I love it. So. <laughs> I can confirm. In fact, sometimes I supply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, <laughs> of course you would. I get this special hat that's like uh, you know, it sort of comes around here and my eyes kind of thing. It sort of looks like a a pail. It looks like a pail, <laughs> and uh, you know, and I get a special short bag that sort of just goes over the chest. Um... Yeah, it sounds like you got it all sewn up. And a coordinated outfit as well. Specializes in blue potions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we okay. keep moving. And there's no way that we want to take this person with us. Does it does it seem like something we would want to do, or I mean, is it not? They're effectively dead weight. Somewhere, yeah. in a, somewhere, an old noble cries out, "You'll take the unconscious woman, but not me." <laughs> 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 he didn't want to be anywhere near that fireball. Let me tell you that right now. <laughs> <That's> true. <laughs> He'd have died instantly. Exactly. We saved his goddamn life. <laughs> okay. All right. Come on then, Jane. Forge okay. your head. Well, I put my head. In, I do the ritual and I place my head against the door. Uh, well, I can listen this time. <laughs> now I'm. Uh, yeah, now I don't I'm know if you have the gift, but you can give it a try. Mm. It's the first time for everything. Eighteen. Eighteen. You hear a faint footsteps as if someone's pacing. Uh, it's quite far away. Almost as if it is down somebody the is see Somebody is seething. Right. <laughs> stealthy time. Stealthy time. Right. Everyone will have to roll stealth if you're trying to stealth into this hallway. No, mm -hmm. I'll go first. Stay okay. in. Okay, you just go first. No problem. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to give him a little uh, stone that emits five feet of... Uh, light oh, so you as you step into that hallway, Dan, you see torchlight coming from the end of the room. Okay, well, I throw the stone back to Misty, and I keep just going to peek around the corner. Okay. Fuck. You see what looks to be a cultist stood at the end of the hallway just before a collapsed tunnel. The hallway seems to continue on to the left. And he just seems just to stand, one. pace, walk to walk to here, 
and then pace and turn around and walk back to here. Oh, I can see him patrolling. Put, yeah, put he's just sort of pacing. I've got a box on my head at the moment. Yeah. Right, well, <laughs> sod it. I'm going to fire two shots into his head and then I'm going to run like buggery. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll initiative then for me, please. And this will be a surprise round. All of us? Yes, please. You might as well because I'm going to tell you about it. 12. <laughs> yeah, come running back. <laughs> 20. These are the good rolls I could have used earlier. What's up? Anyone else uh, rolled? Oh, yeah. oh I, I got a seven. That's nice, wasn't it? Uh, okay, so Misty is you to go first. Surprise round first, right? Solve the surprise yeah. round first, or yeah. So I think you're surprised. And, and, and wait, did you say you told them you're going to do it first, Dan? No, or... just going to put two in the back. Oh, okay, of his then head. yeah, Misty, you are surprised and can do nothing this round. Mister Bane Ooh. is surprised and can do nothing this round. Um, and the uh... pew pew two shots. Do I get advantage because he doesn't know I'm there? Yeah, uh, you are a rogue, so yes, you do. I'm not. I'm a ranger. Oh right, then no, you don't. Just... Don't. Okay, just get the free attack. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that's Strahd, isn't it? You're rogue. Twenty three to hit. Yeah, if if, uh, if it was my Strahd character, he'd be dead. Twenty three. <laughs> um, okay, that's awful. Seven points of damage, but I will do it again. Can you make me a favoured foe? Uh, no, because I've used all the all up now. Ah, okay. <laughs> that is a critical hit. Oh, oh, nice. He's all over this today. Okay, no. and so I will what roll. What do you roll? Let's go. Please roll a six. Five. Okay, so that is 17 points of damage. 17 points of damage. He slumps to the ground dead instantly. Nice. Nothing down here, lads. Keep coming. <laughs> That's so great. <laughs> That's so excellent. That, like, of course, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, you don't need a team. I love that. I'll loot the, um, loot the body. Uh, as earlier with... Oh, no, wait, actually, this guy might have different stuff. What does he have? He has a mace a, and a longbow and a set of chain mail and a shield. Yeah. Can get this shield on you. Jane. Ah. Uh, okay. Have you got a shield of it? What are you wearing? Uh, it's a bit of an intimate question to... Yeah, uh, but, you know, we've been going out long enough, so... <laughs> uh, I am wearing... I have got chainmail on. Right, well, take this shield and stop getting it. Ah, fine. And I will take it, yes, because... It gives you plus two to your armour class, mate. Yes. Take the bloody shield. Yes, it means I can't do my uh, beautiful. Uh, you can still attack horn with your attacks. You still attack with your horns. Yeah, yeah. Your well, horns. that needs a bonus though, right? Not as two weapon fighting, but yes. Yeah, yes, two weapon a fighting point. is a bonus action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yes, of so, course, yeah. because, because it's, it's not a weapon. It's, it's an unarmed attack. I have attack. another hand. Unarmed That's attack awesome. with your, with your oh, head. wicked! Yeah, of course yeah. it is. Oh, awesome! Yeah, yeah. great. Is, maybe you want to consider going back to two. What? What? Um, two fighting weapon fighting would you take? He took blind fight sight. After oh yeah, that's right. Blind yeah. fighting. He removed two weapon. Yeah. Took blind fighting. Because the the other thing that might help me is if I go down to duelist because that may, makes you like a one on one. Yeah. Fighter. Uh, blind fight sounds. I, I'm enjoying. Blind I feel. Fight. Yeah, me too. It feels really like, good. It feels great. Handy, it? Yeah. Um, I just found his shield on the floor. Take this. Stop getting it. And what's it called? Is it just called? It's just shield? a shield. It's shield. just a shield. Okay. I mean, you can call it what you want, mate. No, no. Yeah, has it got a name? What's the name? Sandra? Is it called Sandra? Okay, I'll um Yeah, let me equip that. Thanks. And I go, ah, another one that the cultists got, and I look down at the the corpse and because ah, I assume that it's a cultist that got it. Okay. Gently keep moving, maybe? Yes. Sorry, I'm just renaming my shield Sandra. Move. You're the one with the light. 
We all follow you. Uh, come to the stairs. And then up at the top, peels off in two different directions. And then, no, Three there's two doors in front of us, and then it peels off into us. Yes, so there's a door there, door there, there, and a door there. Okay. Uh, Let me get my book. Which, uh... Which door are you investigating first, mm. if any? I try, I get out like a, that pocket watch and I try and like, like I speak to my partner. You gotta tell us which door to go through. And I, I don't know how he would divine that from the, maybe he looks away and then he looks to see what it's on, you know, like what's, you know, if it's on like a, um, and it signals yeah, maybe it lands on the... I like the look of the top one. Maybe it lands on the top one. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. It always, it always says 12 o'clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he shakes it. It always says 12. That room, okay. Uh, so uh, you're trying to you're trying to listen in behind Mr. the door, Mr. are you? Misty, Misty, go. you got your ears. Not that I don't trust you, Gene, but I don't trust you. 17. No, it's... Uh... 17. My powers have been waning of late. You hear the mm. faint splashing. That's it. That's it. Just faint splashing. Yeah, I don't like that. Don't like that at all. That's going to be like 20 water demons or whatever. Yeah, it's worse in many ways, isn't it? Just a just splashing of, of an unknown quantity. Well, I mean, what are we, we going to... Okay. Then it sounds like only one... one. Okay, I'll give you that much. 17 is quite high. So, faint... Sound of like one person splashing. Mm. Okay, and the bottom door. Bottom door. Can I tell which way it opens? This one. Uh, oh no, there's there's three doors, isn't there? This one. There's three. One. Wait, which one? Yeah, that one. This one. Which way does it open? Uh, it would open. They usually open from the doorway into the room, so it would open okay. into the room. Yeah. Away from me. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 And the and the one below also the same. Yes. I feel uncomfortable with three. Three uh, <laughs> entrances. Yes. Here. I know. It's uncommon. Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, it. It just depends on whether we want to explore or whether we want to try and find the right one. Because opening this door could lead, you know, could lead us to a whole bunch of zombies, or it could lead us to mm -hmm. someone that could help us. But then, all the people on this journey don't seem to be people that we would save or take with us or join do you know what i mean they're all yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah tr so, so have There's you listened into one the bottom door one yet? and be ready to fucking run yeah basically so, uh, misty listen to all the other doors will you mate okay i'll go to the middle door and have a listen uh the middle door have a little listen have a Dirty 20, you hear faint snoring of multiple people behind the door. Ah, uh, let's not open this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although... There'll be all the fucking guards, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to block this door up somehow. Quiet. Yeah. Listen to the bottom door as well. Uh, the bottom door, okay. 11 on that 11. one. 11, it is quiet in there. You can't hear anything. Mm. Okay. This one's so, quiet. do they have locks on these doors? They do not. They are just wooden doors that look to be built by hand very crudely. Is there any way to, like, jam them to make them more difficult to open? Uh, how, well, I don't know how you... I've got tinkerer's tools, if I can. I think between tinkerer's and thieves' tools, we might be able to, like... Oh, I've got those some kind of maybe just yeah. give us a round if they if they pop out or something. Do you know what I mean? You I'll could just use give your tinkerer's tools to maybe I mean make a track I kinda want you to give me a solution is the problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna like rig a trap or something. So, so like, okay, so this up. is weird. This is weird, right? But I listen to that, you know, on Lad Bible they have like old criminals and young criminal chat to each other. They have all those things, right? Mm. I watched one of those the other day. And what the guy was saying in prison they would do was basically chip away at the marble or chip away at the floor to create like a little thing so 
when the door was like a jam, basically. So if the door tried to be open, it would stop. Someone tried to come in and shank you in the night. The problem is the, so, door, the door opens the door's going into in. the room, not in towards you. Can I see the hinges? Yes, you oh, can. Oh, yeah, while you're doing that, I'm going to use a bit of rope to tie the handle of one door to the handle of the other door. Okay, yeah. So you can't... So you can't oh, they, that, they're, yeah. they're both each other shut, yeah? Yep, that is a perfectly valid cool. solution. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is good. That is good. <laughs> that is good. I like that. So these bottom two doors. So like, these these top. two doors are now tied together, are they? And then we're gonna take on the splashing, are we? Okay. Yeah, I guess so. I am yeah. not fucking that. merman. Some sort of awful just merman. Have to be ready to run like a yeah. man. fucking okay. fucking merman. <laughs> okay. Are you opening? Are you going in there still? Yeah, stealth, stealth, stealth. Okay. So yeah. Let's let's swap you two then. Not unstealthily, anyway. Oh no, I'm doing the thing where Gene's in front of me and I reach underneath his arm. Okay. Always, so always. We're doing that. We're doing that. Oh, that's all right. That's 25. Even even I'm not sure I've opened it. <laughs> yeah. It slowly opens. And as it opens, you see a woman bathing in blood. Ah, fuck's sake. Uh, ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, <laughs> even ma'am. You realise with the torchlight that it's only a few brief seconds before she would see what was going on. Is that away? Not today. The door slowly opening. Can I? Can I just ask just a question very quickly above the table? Um, because I, Sean forgot. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we here again in this horrible dungeon? Kill the cultists. Been... Kill the cultists, that's what we've been here to do. We've been charged. With well, that's, gold that's, pieces. that's actually like really hard. If it was just like, oh, go and rescue someone, we could do whatever we wanted. But because we, who's a cultist and who's someone who's been, who's been it's tortured? Not necessarily, well, it's not necessarily kill all the cultists. It's stop the cultists' cult. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, like they're, they're like doing this probably. Okay. Yeah, this is probably the person that we should stop. We should finish off. It's one of them we've got anyway. No healing. And a. Let's we we'll let's use our charm. Door, right? Let's go and try and talk her out. Go and talk her out. Okay, you talk, yeah. and I'll wait here in the quiet because she doesn't know I'm here. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'll go in. Uh, can I leave? Shall I leave that? Because I can see in the dark. So actually, maybe let me leave the. You can't torch see in the room. dark. It's, it's, no, the but I mean the room's lit up by torches. It's not pitch black oh. in there. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, Misty, yes, make G sure you've got G an eye on her. Go oh, in and have a hell. chat. If... Actually. Let me let me just roll to see whether she is even facing towards you. Mm. It's bathing in blood, facing the door. She She's is fucking not bold. facing towards you. Okay. She looks like dodgy, right? She's bathing, She's in, bathing blood. in blood. Yes. Right. Shall I just pop you two in her head and then you charge in and? Let well, me... I'll make my way to her to talk to her. If you, if your character would pop two in her head, then all I would do is try and kill her after that anyway. So it's sort of, from Gene's perspective, it's probably fine. Whatever, however she's taken out is fine, right? But he's thinking, I've got to get to her anyway. So let me just make her, let me oh, make well, her. Well, I'm going to wait because I get the same thing whether she, if she doesn't know I'm there. Yeah, that's get it. the same thing. And this way we maybe get to... Okay. Yeah. Watch I mean, I don't think. Yeah, I don't happen. think he's going to successfully talk to her, yeah. but he, you know, does. It's worth a shot. Worth a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Miss, do you got anything special up your sleeve? Uh, what to help him talk? I don't know. Maybe a, no. he's got enough whiskey by himself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's got enough spirits by himself. Oh, that's probably a good idea. Actually, I'll bring out like a little bottle of. I'll bring out my little hip flask full of questionable spirits uh ma'am i say as i walk in she oh, i wonder when she turns gonna around on. and jumps out of the bath um i, I i'm sorry ma'am i didn't want to catch you uh sleep uh, can you make uh, a breathing. wisdom saving throw for me please <laughs> that's so not gonna work out is it nobody it does, bathes though. in blood because they want to have a chat to you hey, what, do, what's it against though do you have any mm. you don't have anything advantage on any kind no, of no it doesn't look like it or none system. not Spell on save my is saving 13. come on <sighs> nat okay. 20 minus one minus one you got minus one <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why i fucking walked in to why try and talk to her 
That's why. Because I've got minus one wisdom. Of course charm I'm going to go in a chat for it. Charm person fails. Can everybody roll initiative, oh. please? Oh, fuck. Oh. I mean, ma'am, uh, you're charming enough. Uh, covered in uh, effluent and blood, but uh, she there's no need for that. She makes a quick grab for two daggers at her feet. Oh, not the towel, then. <laughs> no. I mean, she's. I mean, is does this mean she's naked now? Yes. Yes, she is. Great. No oh. armor. Well, all any robes or anything that might. She's a channel. magician. She's got some kind of armor going on, hasn't she? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that's a twenty at least. I got right, bad so initiative. Got Twenty-seven, thirteen. Good. They're all there. It is Amanda's turn. Right. The first thing that happens is Hunter's mark goes on her. Uh huh. And then. Oh, yeah, Hunter's Mark, and then I'm going to shoot at her. Uh, okay. She doesn't know I'm there. That doesn't help, does it? I'm, I'm, if you're hidden, do you get advantage? No. Is that anyone, or is it... Only rogues. Only rogues. Yeah, it's part okay. of sneak attack. Uh, only rogues is a completely different website. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you're not going to fucking believe that. Oh, my God. That's unbelievable. That's your third that unbelievable. combat nat 20. Ridiculous. Um, so do I get maximum Hunter's Mark damage as well? Yes. Okay. And then I roll a d6. Come on, then. Yeah, it's all of the dice max and then all of the dice rolled. Plus... Okay, so that's 21 points of damage. 21 points of damage. She's definitely bloodied and she takes it. It like Ooh. catches her All right. in the lung just next to the heart. She <gasps> oh, God. And can barely breathe as she almost gonna... goes down right there. I'm going to try and move and hide again. Okay, so by, uh, that, it's an action to hide, so you're not rogue. Is it? Okay, well, I'll just yeah. move out of the way. Misty, you're up. What? No. I told you, I'm not good at this thing. <laughs> Misty, you're up. Fucking oh. finish her, mate. Oh, by the light of Alluria, or whatever the name of the... <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong world. <laughs> whatever the name yeah, is. Wrong world, wrong world. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, be... listen, this is just... I can't remember the name of the Hello. god. Halo? Was it oh, Baal or Hello. Baal. No, yeah. it'd be the light Hello. of... I can't remember. It's... it's a... Oh, yeah, the good one. Isn't yeah, it? The, yeah. Good, the good... The good... I think Pelor is a good one, isn't he? Uh, I've been listen. By the yeah, way, while we're figuring this out, I've been playing Shadowrun for Shadowrun, Shadowfall, oh, yeah, Shadowrun. Good, good games for yeah. the first time ever. Like it's great. The lore's really great, and it's quite diverse. Like quite culturally diverse. It doesn't lean on its stereotypes and stuff for a lot of it, which is pretty good for whenever it came out, right? Because Shadowrun is an old game. Oh, Shadowrun okay. Returns. Uh, it um, would be about, yeah. the light of Millil or the light of Lathander. Oh, By the light of Lathander. Yeah. By the light of Lathander. Or the light of Soon. Nah, does that sound rubbish? <laughs> no, of Leander. Uh, I got a 15 to hit. 15. Just hits. Hit it. Ooh. Meet it, beat it. Come on, 10. 10 oh, 10. max damage. 10. Max damage. How do you want to do this? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh. So I... Yeah. Um, so I think the. Misty being a little bit f f like fucked up, like throws the fireball, but it comes loose and lands in the blood, and yeah. then the blood starts to boil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. just explodes over her and just melts all of her skin. <laughs> <laughs> she crumbles Boiling. to the ground, dead. Oh. Blood. What oh. a waste of a good bath. That's what. Damn, that's what Misty. Jean thinks. <laughs> Damn, Misty. When I said all step up, fur. fucking <laughs> Oh, what did you say? What did um, what did Amanda say? Well, I told you to step up. You fucking did. Um, in we go and uh, loot the bodies. Loot, check it all out. Yeah. Check this place okay, out. Okay, yeah, check this. Check her out, and all she has is two daggers oh, and the robe. Nothing to it. Naked. Those daggers it's... smell special. The robe smells special. Nah, unfortunately cool. not. Uh, let me just double check. Can I investigate the room, have a poke around in the blood with the stick, the big stick that mm. thing he's got to check there's nothing in the bottom of the bath? Uh, nope, it is just a old sarcophagus filled to the brim with blood. 
nasty. That is uh, just your standard old sarcophagus. Just a sarcophagus. <laughs> you know, Cleopatra had milk. <laughs> yeah. Chick had blood. Whoever this is, blood. That, uh... That could have been worse. Uh, I guess we're going to untie this, uh... No. So we've got to get... No? No. What? Leave him stuck in there. Starve. Fuck him. No, but we've only got one place to go, haven't we? No, there was oh, another way one. to go. I mean, you yeah, rack your brain, is. there was another way to go. So this one was full of them. So I'm going to move the rope from this door to this door. Okay. And I'm going to drag this woman and leave her outside the door as well. <laughs> okay. That's such a bounty hunter move, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Popped up. Propped up with a yeah. hand. A way like more that. blood. <laughs> Way more blood than is necessary because yeah. you're also dragging yeah. all of the blood out of the socket. Yeah, I'm gonna pour a little yeah. bit of the bath all the way as well. Yeah, so it looks <laughs> yeah, that's your calling card, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> leaving a corpse like that, like that, <laughs> with the two fingers up. <laughs> One of her daggers stabbed through her hand into the wall, as you can. Yeah. Up. <laughs> so we're <we'll> checking. <laughs> oh, no. check the... Are we gonna check that bottom room then? Yeah. Okay. So, oh. you open the doorway, nice and quietly, I imagine. Do you want to roll a stealth check for me, please? Uh, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. One of these is going to fail. 16. 16, okay. Uh, inside, you see four flickering torches in the wall sconces that illuminate this crypt, the middle of which is occupied by another open sarcophagus. It bears no carvings or other ornamentation, but is full of humanoid bones and skulls. Six dusty red bedrolls lie on the floor around it. Mm. Don't people like it. Sleep here. They're fucked up, man. These people are messed up. I mean, this is why we don't really want the cultists in our city, no? Yeah. You're right. I think. Uh... What the to... fuck? <laughs> Hang on, I think there's something. I, I genuinely think a fox might have come in. Hold on. That's amazing. That's Hold amazing. We, live on stream, we're going to see Sean molested by a fox. Brilliant. I'm excited. Because he's just, he's just got his back doors open. <laughs> Trying to sneak a bit of food from the kitchen. Yeah, cheeky. Fuck. They are bold fuckers in London. Mm, yeah. Sean's never coming back. <laughs> the camel pan is just it's throat torn out fantastic or he's, or he's going to be stolen. cuddling he's going to be cuddling a beautiful <laughs> fox isn't he just like cradling it and while he's doing that I'm going to get a, I'm going to get an ice cream okay <laughs> alright well I guess uh, it looks, like we're taking, me, it looks like we're taking a small break well I mean yeah we'll, we'll take a break where we'll I don't know let's find out if the chat think it's a good idea to still fucking go on with this dungeon because it is Ridiculous on oh, one HP. I can't believe I've been down three times this session. Yeah, this it's a session. Difficult, difficult time level two, man. Difficult time. <laughs> it fucking did as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a, a fox, a fox came into the house um, because I, I, I thought, oh, maybe one of you guys is doing like a breathing, like doing like a breathing thing on down the mic, mm. and. Um, <laughs> And it was getting louder and louder, and I thought, oh, maybe there's something in the walls or something, you know, like, let me, let me just take my, th th and as I took it off, I could see something move down there. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. Did it, we have our... front... Did it run into the front no, room? No, so I checked, I checked the front room, checked the stairs, checked that it, you know, like, hadn't gone into the house, and then when I went to close the back door, it was there in the garden, like, sort of, you know, looking like a cheeky cheeky prick yeah there was a there was a, fo a f urban fox came into the fucking house <laughs> it's never happened to me before i thought there's no they're bold as grass but i thought they're yeah. never gonna come to the house right oh but you and came could... and sat by your feet basically nah, man yeah there's terrifying stories of them like biting kids when they run into the house yeah yeah, yeah yeah for sure like i could hear it breathing it sounded like um you know those things in resident evil 4 where you shoot you got to shoot oh. you got to use the scope and you got to shoot the the worst, um, the worst rated the regenerators. Like, regenerators, yeah. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. And it freaked me the fuck out. Sounds like my sister's what? pug. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mate, that genuinely freaked me out because I thought they'll never, they'll never come into the house, right? I thought they'll never come in. No way. Did you like, run when he saw you? Yeah, I just saw it under the... Because I heard it before. And then I... Because I, I was just saying to these guys, oh, people in the watching the stream won't want to hear me say it again. But basically, um, uh, I could hear it breathing and I thought it was one of you guys. Then I thought maybe it was something in the walls. Took my headphones off and I saw it down there. Just a shadow. And then when I... And I checked that it wasn't in the rest of the house. And when I went out to the back door, it was there in the garden. And it was like... Brilliant. Freaky, oh, man. Oh, Freaky. I've never had it come in. Well, it's just a warning to any one of you who's got your, you know, has the potential to have an urban telly, fox come in. That's what he's doing. <laughs> it's coming to watch the stream. It's going like, oh, yeah, I'll just catch the end of it. At least that's one. At least that's one person. <laughs> yeah, this is one viewer. Yeah. Taj and a fox. That's our current, uh, that's our <laughs> current viewer that's base. Taj and, Taj and, Taj Taj and, Taj and the fox. fox. <laughs> that's good. Um, anyway, yes. So apart from the fact I was nearly mauled to death, um a tiny let's... fox i can't I, i'm gonna watch this back and see my reaction because that was that was the reaction of somebody that, that someone that clip it someone clip it saw a rogue die. element in his in his house <laughs> um yeah okay what happened in my absence anything interesting no uh, nothing no, in Dan's there got an ice cream Dan went and got an ice cream yeah. so lovely i got two so <laughs> oh, lovely so I'm, I'm gonna make some uh, popcorn after this Cast <laughs> your... I'm, I'm ordering a McDonald's. I'm just putting it out there for delivery. It's got to be done. You're going to get one for the fox? <laughs> yeah. Hey, what do you want, mate? Happy meal? <laughs> Happy meal? Oh, go on, cheer up. You could do with one. A few chicken yeah. nuggets. <laughs> Look, they put one Can extra we... in there for you. <laughs> uh, I guess Gene and the DM. Can we cast our mind back if there was a way? Oh, we didn't explore the rat room, did we? No, we need uh... to explore the rat room. We've done all of these areas. Right, right, we haven't right. explored I'm going to be really room. nice here because we mm -hmm. I could waste like half an hour of you running back to the rat room, realizing it's all dead ends, and then mm -hmm. and there's a mm -hmm. secret passage somewhere around. Okay. Somewhere around the area. Oh, oh what did these? What did it say when we lit up the thing, and it turned up the green? It said, "Can you refresh us, Brad? Can you remember what it said?" Oh, Something right, like stand, be stand that's, that's, and be counted. That, Stand, yeah, that's specific to the altar. It's not going to open. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Well, we, I guess we should... So, Jane, something feels off, man. Like, this yeah, doesn't man, feel yeah. enough. She was too easy, right? Yeah. Yeah, my I mean, intuition is telling me I there's... I don't want to uh... count my blessings. Can I make an investigation check for the for the like the walls around here? Which Which walls? The ones, like, to the north. I feel like... To the this north. One means south, nothing. Nice yeah. guess. So, yeah, roll me an investigation check. Oh, okay. Oh, hang just, on, mate. Just see how long it takes you, really. That... Hang on. That was that guy. Oh, you don't know about this because I killed him. There was this guy <laughs> patrolling up and down a corridor for no ah. reason. I'm thinking about it. That's a bit funny, isn't it? Ah, uh, I mean... Here, look, let me show you. Yeah, maybe his uh, his manager was giving him just arbitrary work to do because, you know, he's got to do a full shift. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I've got a mate called Sam. And he does all these, like, covert operations. And he tells me you should always spot where someone's patrolling because mm. it often means there's something I hear you got <laughs> <that they're laughs> to get through or something. He was the fisherman, wasn't he? Mm. Sam the, uh, uh, Sam the fisherman. Sam the lake, yeah. With that, <laughs> I'm not, with that, with that nice perception, perceptive... A bit of perceptiveness, Christ, English. Uh, I'm not even going to make you roll because that's that was oh. good shit. That was good shit. I got a 19 anyway. Nice. You find it very quickly. There's a little secret entrance here. How did you even miss it in the first place? It's literally a bit of fabric painted like rock over a door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Jim, ruin Johnny's um, riddle. Yeah. Oh yeah, the riddle. <laughs> that's, really that's hilarious. <laughs> Go, someone. Everyone needs to listen to that. That's required listening. The episode where we we bested his riddle, and it was the bit where he's like, "I couldn't solve this riddle, and I nobody I ever will ever meet will ever solve this riddle." And I mean, was like, it's <laughs> <laughs> poor bastard. It wasn't fair. It was not fair. That was good. That was so... good fun. Um, right. Okay, Gene, you go first. Yeah, Gene. Yep, I'll get in there. Okay, 
As you walk into the room, you see... Let me give you a sec. Uh, what looks to be a 10-foot flooded passage... 10 foot wide flooded passage braced at regular intervals by wooden beams. Old torch stubs float on the murky water. At the point where the tunnel bends toward at a, at a point the tunnel bends to the west. Characters can hear the echoes of a battle unfolding down that location. Ooh. You also oh, see shit. a doorway there. Okay, well, well I'll I'll do the check on the door. Okay, roll perception. An 11. 11. All you can hear behind there is silence. Okay. Well, right, let's just keep moving up this. We want to see what's going on with that fight. Someone might be in trouble. Yeah. As you move around the corner beyond the hall, you see a flooded chamber opens up with rough hewn steps climbing to the south, north and southeast. No, north and northeast. My bad. Uh, the floor buckles up above the waterline in the middle of the room forming a small island. Corpses and doused torches float in the water around the island, atop which two men circle each other, weapons bared. One of the men, tall, unarmored brute with a great club and a scarred face, towers above his opponent, but he is gravely wounded. The smaller figure is muscled and bare-chested. He clutches a bloody dagger in one hand and a torch in the other. He has no flesh covering his skull. Um, okay, well, I don't like the flesh guy. I feel like... I, I'll be honest, like, both of them... I, I feel like they need to duke it out and we finish off the loser, but... Um... <laughs> well, we are now going to get into initiative order. There is a moth okay. that just flew into my fucking face. Oh, oh no, not a moth. Oh, not a moth. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> not, a, not a moth with no teeth and, a, and not a, you know, no desire to eat you. It's more... <laughs> More irritating than a fox. A fox is slightly <laughs> scary. A moth In is and out. irritating. <laughs> it keeps coming back. You'll laugh at this. I just put, just idly, I just put urban fox came into my expecting, you know, I was about to put, you know, into my house. <laughs> and the first um, autocomplete was urban fox came into my life. So obviously there's some kind of, I don't know what, why no, I thought he was going to go. I've read a lot that. of strange Chuck Tingle books about, <laughs> you know, Fox came into my. Let's just leave it. Yes, <laughs> let's leave it. There is a. There is. There are some furries out there. We've just got a whole new fan base, I guess. Suddenly, there's forty people watching the stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm done my initiative. Too busy. Okay, so oh, we've yeah. got a nineteen. Oh, fuck's sake. An eight. Oh. oh. The low rolls. That... Yes. Twenty-one. That's when you want... Twenty-one. That's when you want the nat twenty. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, it's time to do so, a goring rush. I warned Brad when we <laughs> first met we uh, that my dice rolls were ridiculous. Yeah. He, um, mm -hmm. Especially when it comes to abilities. Didn't believe me. Rolled ability scores. <laughs> every single ability ca every, character I've yeah. rolled. And I've, been, and I've been utterly honest with it. I've just rolled three groups. Yeah. I've sent them to him. Every single time, it's nonsense. Yeah, every mm -hmm. single time. I mean... So, and this one was the best one you had. Strahd was nuts, but this one's the best you had so far. Is mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you had uh, well, you had three. I think Lack might be better. Lack might have been better, but this you had three stats above sixteen and no stats below ten, I think, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I I went for one that didn't have all the. Oh, you 16, went for the you went for the the week the week, one week point build, which I like. Yeah. I like doing the one yeah. week point. It's a bit nicer. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so. Gene, it is mm -hmm. you first as I put All right, mind. well, I get to do a goring rush. Kind of like what I did on that fox. Chased it out. <laughs> Which one are you um, going for, though? I am not sure. Uh, from this distance. Without any flesh on its skull. Yeah, I think he's the one that's probably he's not good. Definitely Although, that one. Hang on. It feels quite culty, doesn't he? Well, I feel like a beeline will just will just take choice out of the matter. So if I just go for this for this guy with the hood, or, you know, the, with the icon that's the hood. The thing that's... is, the other guy's had torch. He's got a torch. So what do you mean? I what think, does that mean? Listen, go for, go for fucking... Take them all out. Fucking oh, because we're not sure. We're not sure who's we're good sure who's who bad. The bad guys. Go for... Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, but like we're in a cultist and this guy's got no flesh on his head and probably one of those crinkly daggers that like your eternal reward. Yeah, like, yeah, one yeah. Of those, yeah, yeah, yeah. The priests or whatever they're called. I mean, if he's one of the good guys, he's going to have a decent amount of health so he can correct my mistake after I gore and rush him. But, Who knows? Uh, who knows? Or, or like we fucked up already loads of, with loads of stuff. We'll just kill yeah. one of the main characters. If we kill um, everyone, then no one can can be with yeah. us. I think take out no skull. Uh, yeah. Face. Take Let's out skull face first. Let's go for skull face. I'm going for it. Going for it, chaps. I'm going for the goring rush. <laughs> if you take the dash action on your turn and move at least 20 feet, you can immediately make one melee attack with your horns as a bonus action. So I'm going to... Uh, goring rush, and I'm gonna go straight up to. Uh, wait, wait, just to, just to describe the two guys for me again. Uh, so the guy at the top has the guy this, at the top the, has. The, yeah. This guy is a small figure, muscular, bare-chested, clutches a bloody dagger in one hand and a torch in the other. He has no flesh covering his skull. Yes. The other one is a like tall, guy. unarmored brute with a great club and a scarred face. He is gravely wounded. Yeah, he's I mean, one of the gravely good wounded. Ones. Grave, all the good guys are gravely wounded. All right, I'm going for no, we're no gravely fresh. wounded, and we're the good guys. <laughs> exactly. That's how we reason it. Um, right, I run up okay. to this dude and uh, I, guess, I give him. So you, oh, dash, ah, can... so you dash and then horn attack him. Is that? It? Yes. Yes. That's that that's it. Yes, Mate, that's got to be a hit. Meet it, beat it. Oh! Okay, in that case, I do eight points of... Um... And push him! And push him! Because you can do no, it! Oh, well, I can't because this is my... Yeah. No, is... if you hit a creature with a melee attack as part of the attack action, you can immediately use a bonus action to push him. No, but this costs his bonus action. With... This costs his bonus yeah. action to him. It's oh, part of my goring oh, rush. Oh, yeah, part of my goring yeah. rush, right? That feels so, so weird, doesn't it? Like you've just run 100 foot and smacked him. I know. Goring rush pushing. doesn't seem to do as much as you would like it to. I guess what it does is it means I can, can dash can and do that. something. You can do it and attack dash. after dashing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair play. Uh, Fair and play. I... Yeah, yeah. So that's okay. I so otherwise, I'd have to wait seen... another round to. I, like like I'm gonna have, to, I have to close my window. I now have four moths in this room already. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, brilliant. And, and if they all, co if they all the combine, if they combine together, they make one super moth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. with teeth fire. and and fur, and then they. Um, I feel like we've never seen Gene like this before. He's always been like a lumbering, slow, like. <sighs> when you get yeah, 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 yeah. I feel fair. like. Do you know what? <laughs> The can of raid as well. <laughs> um, she went and got the raid. I feel, as well. I feel like <laughs> you know that you know that opening sequence in uh, in in Wanted where the guy like gets in the elevator and he like ding like crushes the end of the elevator and just fucking goes. Yes, like, I do room. like that. Bit. That's what I feel like That's I've like seen. I've never seen Gene do this. Before. He shouts, "I'm on on the juggernaut, bitch!" <laughs> yeah. of course he does. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you take okay, so I did take the dash action on my turn, and then so in a in a way, I can actually use I can use my um, uh, what you call it, right? My I can no. action surge, right? Yes, uh, yes, you can. Because it yeah. is yeah, because that I use my action yeah. as a dash, then use my bonus to yeah. to attack him. Basically. And now and then you I can clunk him upside the head. Yeah. Let's do it. I mean, I'm hoping knowing how his character works. I know. Is, I don't know what to do with myself. Fighter, fighter, it's a fighter. It's just it's easy now. Um, Flennis Bane is going to come out. Um, oh, it's clocking time. Clocking oh, time. No. No. Oh not. no. Eleven. Eleven to hit. Eleven. We need some is... buffing. I need some buffing. I need some. We need a buff. You'll get it. What, just not one. We need a bard, two, don't we? <laughs> Joffrey. We need a bard. All right, or someone who can buff me. I mean, most, most um, characters can buff, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Any spellcaster. All right, so that's my action. Um, and then I guess as a bonus, I'll go in with the... Because I, I... Oh, wait. No. I. Yeah, my action surge. That Does that give me a just the action? You can take one additional action. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, okay, that's my turn. So... Basically, I went up to him, used my goring rush, and got it with the horns. Okay. Uh, that is next is Misty. 
Uh, what does he do? What's his reaction, by the way, when I get him with the horns, Brad? Surprised as you gore him in the back, basically. Okay. I mean, he's, I can't he's a see. skull, so there's no actual like facial expression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you'll be. You'll have to stumble through then. Well, uh, I guess. Let me see what your vision is like. Uh, you can just about see you, all right? Okay. Like, they, I could have. This guy's got a torch, though, right? So we can see him. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you so, could. You see really, the. You saw just... the torch just like charge off towards the other torch, basically. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna basically turn the corner so Wait. I can see them. Yep. Trinity. There's still, nope. there's still a bit of distance away. <laughs> and I'm gonna look at this guy, the skull face, and Miss is gonna be like, "Oh, I said I wouldn't use this. I said they wouldn't use this." And he goes into his bag and he pulls out like. A, you know those spherical Rubik's cubes? Yes. Was well, that one yes, of those? Yes. Yeah. Like a puzzle cube. And he will <laughs> change all of the color to be. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go yellow. Uh, and he is going to launch this at that guy. For a nine to hit. I'm assuming that doesn't hit, Brad. Uh, oh, sorry, me to know that misses as the cube <laughs> splashes into the water just before. Okay. Because you don't give it quite enough oomph. A few sparks, dzz, 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 and then it dies. Like. You know when when fucking Tony Stark launches like the mother killer or whatever that thing's called, the widow maker. <laughs> yes. Just... <laughs> Into the water. Oh well, there goes my, uh, my last spell slot of the day. That's supposed to be my chromatic orb. Uh, and then I will move five feet backwards. Oh, <laughs> with the rest of my movement into <laughs> the darkness. And that'll be my turn. Thank you very much. Okay. It is now firebolts from here on out. The big guy's turn. Oh, that's so disappointing, Ryan. That's the life of a spellcaster, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, oh. help me. And I'll give you the answers you seek. This guy's one of the leaders of the cult, and we need to kill him quick. Before that's then. Bad. Oh, he's cleared that up. He's cleared that up. Great, great. We were right. <laughs> great, right. Well done, Gene. Unless he's, unless well he's done, lying. Gene. You, Inside you, uh, check. Hit, you hit uh, the right one. Well done, Gene. <laughs> And that was his action to give you that piece of information. What okay. an idiot! Fucking idiot! <laughs> We're already going for the. When in doubt, go for the guy on fire or with a skull for a face. <laughs> the old saying. The old saying. And that, <laughs> the old saying. And that does end his turn. Does it is what now. What a fucking idiot! And this guy is is just going to hear like a low sort of hiss. As if he's breathing through his skull teeth. Yeah. And he is going is to his use. Is skull on fire? No, it is not. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? He is going to Ghost use Rider. his action to yes. disengage yeah. and then run. To here. He's run up. Sorry, he ran up here into this room and out of shot. Mother, what a pers hang on, he ran away from the gene. From gene, he used his sentinel. action to disengage. Disengage, ah, right. okay. No, I think sentinel's no doing... sentinel doesn't. Oh, yeah, I do disengage. have sentinel. Okay, yes. then make a wait. Is that really Thank how you. sentinel works? I'm yeah, it's beastly. sure. No, it's just creatures, when you... creatures provoke opportunity attacks from even you, if they even take if disengage they have action. Yeah, yeah, disengage action. okay, then make Oh, thanks for the heads attack. up, guys. Horrible. Yeah, nice. I was looking up. I was looking just, up just after facts. Dan complimented Sean. <laughs> yeah. Just after. Uh, like, listen, I, honestly, I was looking at the RSPC about foxes, and I was getting annoyed about how nice they are about them. Because I was, because you know, that's that's their job. Back to be fox nice about hunting. Them. That's that's the blood <laughs> song. Urban fox hunting. With free running. Yeah. Free running a charity across rooftops. Against animal and... cruelty will not put down this fox <laughs> that went into my house by accident. Oh, no, I was. I'm looking for. I need to find the propaganda that allies with my way of thinking about urban foxes. Right. Um, yeah, apologies about that. Thanks for the heads up. 
Um, okay, yes. Yeah, so what what can I do with my sentinel? You I can just take make an attack of opportunity, please. So I can use my primary weapon for that, can I? Yes. Um, okay. Oh, very nice. That's twenty-one, 21 to hit. hit. That does hit. Absolute he legend. Stops, he stops before he moves out of your range. And do the damage. And eight, and eight points of damage. Nice. Woo! As you you crack him in the leg, and he sort of falls over and rolls with the attack, but then stands up at the ready. Amanda, it is your turn. I. Mm. Hang on. Lovely. Pew pew. <laughs> Another muff, Brad. I don't know how this 28 one. Twenty-eight to hit. It's quite a big one, that one. Twenty-eight definitely hits. Because the other four combined to make a super moth, mate. That's why. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's Seven it. points of damage. They made pension. They, they made Voltron. Yeah. <laughs> Voltron moth. And again. Uh, seven piercing damage. Nice. 17. Definitely hits. Oh, 12 damage. Right. 19 in a round. As this <laughs> guy is not buddied, but close. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, mate. We've got it. Hit him. <laughs> That's me. Okay, nice. It is Gene's turn. Oh, Gene, mm. block his path, mate. Oh, yeah, good idea. But then if I move... No, because I'm not moving out of his range. No, if you stay in range, yeah. Yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Move around him like a clock. Yeah. Wait, I've like been, this clock. is how much move shadow run I've been clock. Move to 12 o'clock. Move to 12 o'clock. Aha! <laughs> that I understand. <laughs> like so much shadow run, I was like, oh, I can't use, use my AP up to move, won't it? Use my action points up to move. No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm around. I'm going to block his path. Okay. Um, and I shall uh, just check in if there's anything else I can do, but I think it's. I'm just going to get him Flennis Spain. Yes. Come on. Ooh. It's 13 to hit. 13 misses. As this time he agilely knocks, moves his shoulder out of the way of your attack. And that's uh, a dirty 20 to hit with my horns. Does hit. So I'll at least be able to do five points of damage. Five with my points horns. of damage as you catch him across the arm, dealing a nice deep cut down mm. one arm. Okay, that's my go. Okay, Misty, it is now your turn. I'm going to fling a fireball. I can still see him, right? Basically. You can. Yeah, yeah, he's holding a torch still. So he's lit up. Uh, wait Ooh. one sec. Let me just check something. You would have to move a little bit closer. He's no, I behind, don't. He's behind the posts. Oh, he's behind the posts, so I would need yeah. to move a bit closer. Yeah. Okay, it's well, there, maybe. I, yeah, if you just move up one space, you'd see him. Okay, great. Well, I mean, I missed anyway. Do you want me to read? <laughs> uh, no, you missed, unfortunately. All right, well, I'll move back around the corner then. <laughs> no, no problem. Uh, go, okay. my turn. You're taking it very well, Ryan. Your inability hit to him. go and smash hit him. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You want to be, you wanna be a barbarian is... again, mate. Of course I do. Of course I do. Yeah. I miss it. You need to get a crossbow or something. I do have a crossbow. But my... Oh, okay. But my yeah. Firebolt's better. Oh, you're a firebolt. No, you're not better. Yeah. Also, like jokes aside, you've been doing some cool shit with like the potions and resurrecting. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. My, yeah. My, 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 I'm a support character and more. So yeah, that's good. It's good. Round, yeah. And flavoring it with like using his feet and stuff is cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Big guy is gonna. Um, yeah. Move flanking. It's gonna move forward. There's no flanking, unfortunately. No. One of the rules. One of the rules I didn't implement. <laughs> uh, I thought you said no. I thought you said flanking was. You said no. flanking is allowed, but it's both you and the enemy. In your little I also think you said throw. that, but it's, but it's okay because it, like, it's your game. Yeah, you change your mind, fine. yeah. It's okay as long as you let us know. It's fine. I it's like, I'd, that's yeah. right. It's all right. Uh, to be fair, if you want to roll without flanking, then no, I've got, yeah, my, I've got my rules right here. Give me a second. Because uh, if we've been playing this yes, session without I have flanking, got, I have got flanking enabled. Yeah, enabled. Flanking enabled. Flanking enabled. 
Uh, okay, yeah, so he gets advantage on his great club attacks as he swings around twice for a 21 to hit and a critical hit. Oh! oh. Nice. Also, well the, fact, the fact that we just okayed flanking again is going to go really badly for Gene at some point. Oh, man, isn't it just... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you've got to consider there's only three people in the party at any one time, real really. Yeah, and two of us, two of us arranged basically. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh man. Okay, Good so job, he really? takes seven from the first hit, and takes uh, eight, twelve plus five, seventeen from the second hit. As the nine. The uh, cultist leader is definitely now bloodied. And that ends nice. big guy's turn. Putting it at Vaz's... Well, you know his name now. Yeah, Vaz is going to make right? hey, gonna make this Thank mistake. Okay. <laughs> Give it away everybody's names. He's just going to flick round and continue to attack the big guy. He's going to... Well, actually, before Hut, he is going to use stunning... Gaze on, uh, yikes! Shit! On the All big right. guy. He's going to use it on the big guy. Oh, fair enough. Uh, oh, so the big guy. I guess a bunch of beautiful men come out, right? Stunning gaze. That's it. Uh, that's your. That's so, your pride. That's, that's your pride. pride uh, it's big after guy. 11. It's after 11. They go bad. Big guy there. fails, so he's going to use his indomitable feet to re-roll once. Yeah. Uh, he can, he can re-roll a saving throw, but he must use the new roll. And with a 20, he succeeds. He is not nice. stunned. I like this guy. I yeah. like this guy. But he is still like going to take two dagger attacks yeah, from yeah, 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 yeah. the cultist leader. That's yeah, Gene's thinking, nice. here's somebody else to go into the doorway first. He's <laughs> thinking, yeah, yeah, let him take the glory and go in first. Both hit, and creatures within five feet of the cultist uh -oh. leader gain vulnerability to piercing damage. She Unless they have immunity or resistance to such damage. As you she see, these knives cut a lot deeper than they otherwise should into the big guy. And he takes... Is he not a barbarian? Because then he'd have resistance. Nope. Not piercing, with indomitable. Said. That's a warrior feat. Right, I've added it? it. Vulnerability to piercing. Yeah. So he is now going to take not happy. 11 plus. So 20 doubled. 40 points of piercing damage. And he goes down unconscious to the ground. Shit. It is now Amanda's turn. Wait, how did he take so much damage? He's um people vulnerable. within five feet of him uh, are vulnerable Isn't to piercing damage. Is that after the attack, or no? That's an aura. Ah, but you need to Nasty. take him down pretty quick because he's going to hit you yeah. next, mate. So yeah. uh, double hit hard. Pew, 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 and step up. Pew pew. pew okay. Pew pew. Twenty-four. Definitely hits. Do I do it? No. Nine points of damage. Plus Hunter's Mark. No, because I didn't Hunter's Mark him. Oh, oh however, hang on. Let me just check. No, I didn't do it last round, and I was thinking about it. But I need to check something about Hunter's Mark. If you kill a creature that has Hunter's Mark, you can move it. Uh, yes. But I don't know if that carries... How long does it last? Yeah, does it so say? for an hour. Concentration up to an hour. Yeah, so as long as you're still concentrating, you can move it onto him yep. for a... So, do you know what? I'll do that. That's a bonus action, so yeah. I'll just do an extra d6 this round. I won't get my second shot, but that will really help next round. Okay. Brilliant. Another five on top of that. So, 14 points of damage. 14 Shh. points of damage as the crossbow bolt slams into one of his kidneys and he goes down to one knee. He barely manages to stand back up. Ah, oh, shit. If I'd shot him again, it'd be brilliant. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway. I will leave this in the indomitable hands of Gene. Gene to Gore, <laughs> Redstone. Come on, Gene. It is your turn. Uh, okay. Well, you know, I've had such a good, uh, strong history of a, of managing to hit with my attacks. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm. so what could possibly go wrong? 
Um, uh, I shall. Oh, very nice. 23 to hit 23 with my hits. Hit. Yes, yes, okay, all right, all right. Let's do this. Um, Finish. Finish him. So that's 12 points oh. of. Piercing. How do you want to do this? Oh! Yes, nice. Um, oh, I don't know. Well, he's got a skull for a head, hasn't he? So it'd be silly not to cave that in. Stick no, it no, in. No. Just yes. Rip it off like a golf. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> nice. I have to knock it off. I like, I like use a hoof to like to kick out his legs and then that's I great. and then I swing and I hit it like a Whoa. yeah 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 that's it like <laughs> like a golf it ball it sails through the distance and in the silence of the room you hear a donk donk <laughs> donk, donk. <laughs> and then Donald Trump oh, drives up in a golf cart too close to it and drops his ball one step ahead yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah of yeah. course he does yeah <laughs> perfect and combat ends Ooh. And I we run stay. in and try and stabilize this big boy. Yep, and as you stabilize him, we will end it there for tonight. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, Boom. Fuck that was good. Went yeah. down three times. That's that that's that was yeah. More than yeah. I went down in the entire of the <clears throat> ever, yeah. of the Johnny's game. Yeah. Uh, Arian well. Arian well, yeah. That was honestly that was tense, but we had to keep pushing. Yep. We had to keep pushing. I almost died in real life yeah. as well. <laughs> you know, the, I almost died the... in real life as well. Radley almost <laughs> died in real life. <laughs> yeah, four months. Because they could have all gone down his throat at once and blocked his That's windpipe. So, Dan ate two ice creams. I legit ice creams. almost might kill him in, in his arteries. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> slow legit, death. Legit, and I've been, not, and I've been... legit, I will not go to bed if there is a moth in the room. I have to spray it until it's dead and it stops moving and then I can sleep. <laughs> there you go. You're a psychopath. I did whack a wasp the other day, and that felt good. So feels good I'm, when you I'm, get them. Though. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, get yeah. some hate because wasps are like helping the ecosystem, whatever. Uh, bring I back mean, bells. listen, I just bring I'm, back bees. No. Yeah, yeah, bees are better than wasps. Who wants wasps? Wasps are the far right bees. <laughs> <laughs> they are. No, 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 no. That's that's right. a hornet. Hornets are the far oh, right bees. Hornets, are, hornets are like the neo Nazis. Hornets are neo Nazis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah hornets yeah. are the real. Yeah, we just wasps, lost wasps, wasps and viewers. Yeah, wasps, yeah. Are the, wasps are the Republicans. Yes, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, slowly the thing, destroying The only thing that it. can stop a bad wasp with a sting is a good wasp with a sting. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Two, yeah, one will get the other, yeah. Uh, I like that. It's I mean, I'm, I'll it's be... It's the I'll sting be... that kills people, it's the wasp. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, be, I'll wasp. definitely be cancelled for... Um, you know for for not liking urban foxes somehow but yeah all the stuff i'm reading is like oh no because no no, they're great and you're not allowed to poison them or kill space. them or anything we've taken out their space. i That's know we've, we've built houses in their nature yes and we're the ones we're the parasites oh i do know that and i normally think that but when one comes into your house unannounced it's not, it's not your house it's his it's, oh no <laughs> yeah. no no that used to be his, his tree it is my house i'm not gonna have a debate about whether yeah, the, the, the whole, hole, has... in the, hole in the ground <laughs> used rent. to be there he doesn't pay rent i yeah. owe that house i own that house three holes. but it, it might be his <laughs> land that that i will concede to all right yeah. but yeah, you uh... don't know where that lease money goes <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah what do they say you read, you read it and it's mr mr F-Fox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, we'll all get cancelled. It's fine. It's so fine. I've got to ask the question, have we levelled up? When you leave the dungeon, you will. Okay. okay. That but that infers something that... Something else yes, happen. exactly. I mean, you can't just a... kick open will... the door and leave. It depends whether there's you that... want to investigate more of the dungeon or not. If you're going to leave straight away after talking to this bloke... Then... Well, I guess it would have... depends what the bloke tells us, doesn't it? Depends what the bloke tells us, yeah. Because so... we are walking wounded at this point. So, every yeah. single one. so think about third level, but don't put it in yet. Fine. All right. Fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, already done. I've thought about <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, not about it. Not about it. But this is when you. This is when you get. Thanks very much. Yeah, but this is when you get your stuff. subclass and stuff. So it's very true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but... that's fair. Yeah, great session, Brad. Lots of good. Really great. Yeah, lots of good combat. Lots of good, well, good combat. It's lots of subjective combat. 
Concrete. Lots Iron of Man combat. Did. Yeah. Very true. Lots of, com- yeah, lots of combat where Ryan missed, unfortunately, and everybody else had a good time. <laughs> yeah. Ryan no, missed no, and Sean missed, and only Ryan. Dan hit. Yeah, but Sean, you miss and have a good time, whereas Ryan loves when he hits in combat. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I threw I threw away threw away all my spells. No, I didn't. I used them, you, used them strategically to heal. You, you learn know. the hard way. I expected to hit every time. So like I was quite you know, and I'm not. So I'm learning the hard way to just accept it as it is. You it know? Happens. It's now part of my character, right? And I love that I love that about your character. It's too. clockwork <laughs> moves and all that. So yeah. And Ryan really, with the your character now has a reason to come in and, and jump away right it's like it's perfect for the rabbit you're gonna meet a chrono mage and be like wait what <laughs> maybe the chrono maybe a chrono mage could have been my last partner right that sort of makes sense and i never had any truck with all of that all of that nonsense yeah, he was super powerful as well and, and I mean, that. None, none of your abilities ever missed like you never missed yes exactly <laughs> he was always buffing me and enabling me yeah <laughs> No, I mean, I like to imagine there was a slim time period where I was capable, um, but but, but that but time you're was an, long. You're, you're an old drunk. Past. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Lazy. Yeah. Um, uh, old yeah. motor. In another few years, you'll teach some young teenager how to wield his mace properly. And how to, yeah. How to, how to <laughs> use old... his horns properly, and he'll become the <laughs> savior of the world. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm already past it. You see, um, I only had one horn and I still managed to save the world. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, uh, yeah. thank you for are watching, we here everyone. Next week. Thank uh, you. Mm-hmm. I believe I we all I are. I think yeah, I'm... we should be barring any changes. Sweet. Yeah, so good. then, yeah, Sweet. we'll see you next Monday, guys. Um, and as always, I have to think up something on the spot. Yeah. Such as. There's nothing quite like saying you're going to think up something on the yeah, spot, yeah. you know? Give you and time. as always, make sure that skull is a hole in one. Yay! <laughs> Yay! 